What's up, Digital World? Win rate 0% back coming at you with some delightful dulcet tones. A couple hours of Digimon podcasting with me, Cobb, and we've got your man, Bryce. Did you just steal the intro from a different channel? What do you mean? What, whose intro What's is that? Digital World? Do we say that? We, bro, we've been saying that for months. Okay. One Piece has diluted your brain, man. Nah, bro. Jesus. Right, and we've got Adam Red Scar. Hello, it's me, I'm here. It is Adam Red Scar, the gods of Digimon are back. Uh, I need to stop gassing us up here, man, because, I mean, we're, we're decent, but we're definitely not the gods of Digimon. We do have well, some the interesting gods of Digimon. You've got to believe in yourself, man. We've got the fucking Digi Emperor gear on the go, the sunglasses and the cape. Yes, we are. And we are enslaving Digimon and putting black rings around our neck. Let's um, not go that far. And um, we're whipping yeah. them into shape. Um, no. And we are p- erecting big spires to control them. You can erect Welcome whatever you win want. Zero percent. The cancelled podcast. How can we help you today? Yes, we Hello, are. Hello. Uh, I'm going to canceled. be looking for a new position. Um, judging. I don't. What's an obscure trading card? One piece. Why I'm judging one piece. Hey, 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 hey. Apparently, One Piece is, is now beating digital monsters and sales. Super obscure. It is actually. It's alive. taken the fourth place, but Digimon's still number five. It's still Aye. there. Let's be honest, though. I mean, Digi- One Piece is a way bigger franchise than Digimon. So even if the game itself is like better or not, it's probably going to be more popular than Digimon because I think a, a large amount of people play the games because they're like, oh, it's Scrimble Bimble, my favourite character from Manga Chapter 371. Hi, that's right at the beginning though, mate. You need to get to manga chapter four thousand million nine hundred forty-seven thousand and four. I know. Otherwise I think known I'm on as episode like, ten. I think I'm on chapter eight hundred and thirty-nine. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man! Actually, touch grass. I know. I've, Unlike me, mate, I am playing I a, Digimon for hours on on Steam and stuff. You know, I, I was about to based. say, have we watched the One Piece live action? But why is there not a Digimon live action? Uh, I don't know, but we ha- I think we have to limit the amount of One Piece we're talking about. <laughs> Literally, we're like that. Right, it's time to start the podcast, boys. No, uh, no, Alright, so Digimon. One Piece live action. There is a Digimon live action, I forgot about it. I don't remember this. Explain, no, it's please. on the it's on the Digimon. It's on one of the Digimon YouTube channels, and it's to promote the vital bracelet thing that they've got. Oh, yeah. You know, their stupid big Tamagotchi on your wrist sort of thing. That's an ad. Um, Surely that doesn't count. Here, however, it's really well done though, and it's probably the closest we'll get to an actually good live action Digimon. Because let's face it, if they actually made an attempt at it through Netflix, we'd probably get fucking Detective Agumon four. Why yeah. is my Greymon not digivolved in four years? It's because you've not fed him, Ty. You're a bad tamer. It could work. It could work. The CG in that was pog, though, to be honest. And that's one of the reasons I really liked Pulsemon, because of the vital bracelet stuff. I also just think he's a very cool Digimon. I like his design. I like his theming, how he evolves into different things, depending on how active you are. I love Bulkmon. I hated uh, Pulsemon to start off with, but then they started drawing him in the really, like graffiti sort of really cool graffiti artwork and i mm-hmm. fucking fell in love with it and pulse one's one of my favorites now even though he is just sonic the hedgehog he's sonic you mate get it right oh. he's literally sonic you he's a fast running yellow guy and um, with electric powers he's literally sonic you and you can't prove it otherwise did he have electric powers i thought he had fitness powers He's got different powers of being what he evolves into, but he runs fast and he's he's got like lightning powers and lightning comes off his feet when he runs and stuff, so That's just Sonic, mate. Yeah, it's pretty like Sonic of the I Lord never knew Pokemon was a fitness thing. It is, yeah, because the vital bracelet's like a, a Fitbit Tamagotchi as Adam said to try and yeah. encourage you to exercise. To I just thought really... pulse was electric, just an electric pulse, that's all I thought. Oh I yeah. Think... It's actually a really would... cool name. I would really like the vital oh. bracelet, and I would probably use it if it wasn't so fucking chunky. Like, see if it was just the size of a regular Fitbit, I would yeah. wear it no problem. But I'm not walking to work with what looks like a fucking ankle monitor on my wrist. Aye, it does. It's too thick. Like, it needs to have a kind of normal watch face sort of flat thing. Aye. It's probably about three like, times the thickness of a normal watch face. Or they could they could make it into an app for adults. I know yeah. Digimon's sort of aimed at teens slash adults and stuff, but 
And, like, if you wear your vital bracelet, you know, if you're listening to this, fucking do you, it's just not for me. But, like, I can't go to, I work in a fucking pensions company, I can't go to work wearing that, I'll get fucking done. Um, so something a bit you... more subtle would be nice. Wear it while you judge on Wear it while I judge, that's actually not a bad idea to oh, be Oh, mate, fair. that would be good, and you can challenge people, mate, right? because you've got so much free time when you're judging, mate. Right? crack them across the head with it, because it's fucking beastly. You could KO somebody with a vital bracelet. Give you the win. I'm still coping that we're going to get some good For legal reasons, that was a joke. Shit. Have you seen, people are predicting that BT15 is going to have pulse wand. Oh no, is it it's 16, I think? Because 16 has been soft revealed, they have um, leaked that it's Mate, going to be he based. flatlined a while ago. What's that? Who? Postman flatlined a while ago. He did indeed. Oh. Um, no, he's, BT he's not 16's really... going to be around Digimon Adventure 2. Pulse, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So in Adventure 2, I think Pulsemon is um, in the movie, or I don't remember why. People were saying that this is likely to have the 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 Fen Relugamon Pulsemon stuff. So my only worry is that. What? Well, so have you not seen they leaked the final evolution for Fen Relugamon, the purple doggy, from Seekers? Um, I have and not. It's, Where it's, is it? I don't know, mate. It's been out for months, but but um, it's not in the card right. game yet or anything. But they have leaked it, and it it's up. Fen Relugamon um, and a kind of Alpha Mon or Umon sort of fusion where uh, Fen Relugamon has the staff of uh, Oh Kazuchi Mon uh, oh. in his mouth. Like a sword doggy. So yeah, that's fucking mate, it's got Fenrir Lugamon has um a couple of attacks called Ragnarok Howl, Jotunheimer Gale, and Hruvitner, which is which is like a duplication thing. That's cool as fuck, man. I'm I really want to play that deck when Blast Ace comes out. I'm gonna actually get some um boxes of it so I can build it. Well meta results are suggesting it's it's um like the second best deck of the set, of and do you want it's to know, good. mate? It's but the, people were quoting saying it's bad. Thing. It does no. seem, it does seem crazy. Like even it fucks with a memory, a core mechanic of the game. It's got yeah. to be good. For me, it's like I've saw some gameplay of it, and honestly, it's just another one of these decks that's like spam fifty cunts onto the board for free, and you're like, okay, nice. Uh, but they also rush all, sometimes. Uh, it's already got a cool engine as well. It it's actually looks like a very fun deck though. Like all the mechanics. For me now in Digimon, I think a lot of... Basically there's two ways that decks seem to operate. Well, maybe three ways decks seem to operate now. You've got play Big Chungus Turbo and something that sucks them up. Like Mother or Royal Knights or the Davis or the Dark Masters in all likelihood. Or you've got build Big Stack that completely decimates the whole fucking board in the security stack. Or you've got a deck that spams 50 wee dicks onto the board um, and just wins because they've they've just spent zero memory to play 15 memory worth of Digimon. Um, or you've got Shine Grey, which is actually the top deck of BT4. I was going to say, Shine, Shine Grey is weird. Like, you play your massive boy, but you also weenie rush, but with tamers. Yeah, and the, the not gonna. Go, I'm I'm fine with Shine Grey not going away because I I fucking love playing the deck. It's so much fun. Do you know the worst thing about it though? It's not one of these scenarios where the deck is just that good that it's managed to stick at the top of the board. It's actually just that good because it's received support from the Patamon stuff, and the Patamon stuff has made it fucking ridiculous. And I mean, the deck. Remember when? the deck paid for evolution cost you basically pay for the level four only because you get out there yes. marcus that cheats the five and he cheats the six etc so the now you don't even have to pay for the four because you've got a patamon who started your main phase checks your stack and evolves into a vaccine um so that's another reason why it's broken the patamon stuff's just cracked the hell out of it if they don't give that patamon an alt art i'm going to be fucking annoyed oh he's got an alt art because he's Does one he of the rookies um all the Adventure tamers, their babies SRs. have all got yeah, their SRs, so they'll they've all all arts. I think it's the tamers in a weird kind of scenario. It's the tamers and the rookies that have all arts, um, which yes. is kind of a new one. Hang on, I'm looking it up. Oh, there is an alt art. Uh, even the I... normal art goes pog crazy. I've just looked at it up close. And he's in a holy church with four lovely oh. stained glass windows behind him, and each window is a different evolution of Patamon. It's fantastic. So, 
I'm a Patamon guy. Patamon's my favorite rookie, and he's my favorite of the original Digidestin stuff. I don't. I mean, I love the alt art, but it could have went harder. They could have done some stained glass shit with it. Like it I actually think Angemon. I've not seen it, or I can't remember it if I have seen it. But I'm looking at the normal art, and I'm like, this art goes so hard that it almost should have been the alt art, and it should have just had like textured stained glass window behind Aye. it or something like that. You know? look at, if you look at the stained glass behind it, it's Patamon, Angemon, Seraphimon, and. And Magna behind him, that would have been cool as an alt art. Instead, we got him. I know, that's what I'm saying. He's just running in the street. He's running while fucking Poyomon runs next to him. Tanamon's sleeping up on what can only be described as a giant big block of cheese. And the other cunts are flying in the air. Why is he running? Why is he doing this? I mean, it is a nice art, right? I don't think anyone would be complaining about it, but if you. I'll show you the normal art, Bryce. And it uh, just try to find it. It literally see just the framing of it, what is actually happening in this art. If you swap them round, then the second the, the stained glass window normal art is clearly a much more beautiful picture. And even the references in the windows, man, I'm sitting here going, damn, I didn't even notice that, but it's amazing. Uh, I'm looking up the alt art oh, for the Andrew one just now. Yeah, the the, the oh, the that's see, that's good. Is, is Why didn't we line? fucking get yeah. that? What, the Why Angemon didn't we get the 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 Angemon alt was fucking great. Why didn't we get that? But that Angemon is a secret, Adam. So you know they had to give it the alt and go hard wait, with it. Hold on, see the uh. see the secret wears. Have they always had that wee star next to them? No. So the it's not the secret there. This is now the alt art stamp they're putting on cards. So if uh, it's an alt art, it has a little stamp in the bottom right hand oh, corner. So they're of copying star. Pokemon then, because that's what Pokemon are doing. I mean, everybody's copying Pokemon. You got it. That you got is aim true. To beat number one, right? You do be you do be spitting facts there, mate. Also, um, what do you call it? I've seen people pull alt arts and not think they were alt arts before. So yeah, yeah, it's because sometimes some of the fault art. Fault arts. That's because some of them, some of the alt arts are pishman. Some of the normal arts are also just so nice that people think they're all arts at times as well. Though. Oh, Ma That's Magna so Angemon awesome. is good. It's all right. Magna Angemon. I would play it. See a lot of the level five aces. I'm not gonna lie. I'm reading them and going, mm, "This seems good," but I don't know if I want to lose fucking three memory for this. I know. I might put a one of it. But what I am going to do when the aces fully reveal is pause at every time someone attacks me and go, maybe I want to blast evolve. Ah, you really have knowing to. I don't have an ace in my hand or but in my deck. you literally have to. If you don't do it, then you're literally giving away an advantage. It would be like in Yu-Gi-Oh! every time artwork. you were like, nah, nah, I'm he good, did. nah. Me, I fucking recognise Kenji Watanabe's artwork for a mile away now. It's so good. We'll talk more about BT14 when BT14 rolls around anyway. Yeah. Um, See quickly, I had an example, right? Of um, I had a quick example of an ace I wouldn't use, right? So I'm um, at. If you guys know me, you know I love the Myotis Mon Yukio Oikawa deck, right? I don't want to talk about the new support. I don't want to talk about it. But the only part I do want to talk about is see the Myotis Mon Ace, right? It's five to play, three to evolve into eight K DP, uh, Blast Evo Blocker. And at his own play when digivolving, you may play one purple level 3 Digimon or one purple Digimon card from your trash, or one purple Tamer from your trash without paying the cost. I'm like, this is good, but literally just to Evo. See if you Evo and don't use the Blast Digivolve on this, it's so shite. Like that, this card reads like a Shine Greymon card that isn't an ace. Yeah, probably. I'm like, Pog, I've paid 3 to get Yukio from the trash. Or something like that. And then you're like, oh nice, I've, I've paid my three. Uh, and then you lose three next turn. It's like, come on, man. I know, like, I'm still... I, I, I like the ace mechanic. I genuinely 100% believe, with all my heart, this is what the game needs to revitalise it a bit. 100%. That being said, half of them are pish. And the only one that I really like is the Metal Garurumon because it usually yeah. forces a turn pass. Which that. means you playing it gets immediate value. Um, I mean, ugh, I don't know. That, that one is undoubtedly powerful. Um, it's just like, I know that you can play them for cheap as well, which is probably going to come up more. Um, and I guess the, a lot of the time I feel like the fives, the blast evil mechanic may or may not sway the attack. 
but it, it is interesting definitely and I think my evaluation on them could be off just because we're not used to playing with uh, that many of them really there's only two in the game right now so yeah and only one sort of valid exactly I've not seen the war I've not seen the war gravy played much no, it's shite. I, know, it is shite. I know it is being played in war grey decks just as a last ditch sort of thing but the the metal guru is definitely being played it's played in any purple deck especially melith loop and stuff like that who's punching their microphone Wait, i just slapped my mic and sent it oh uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry listeners yes, i'm done. not going to edit that out no hold on. i'm going to put a dot i'm putting dots right. in the chat for an edit window oh, oh. how dare so, um aye so how is your how's Bryce? how has your locals experience been in the bt13 format for digimon um, yeah, it's been alright. I think I've played two locals. What the oh, hell happened, man? Yeah, Do to be fair, I, I've expe I expected you to, to have played none, so fair play. No, I think I've actually played... Well, if we're not excluded, including store champs, I think I've played more locals than you this set. So... No, Adam's yeah, been spamming them. I have been sort of spamming them. Woo! To be fair, Ad I'm, Adam made a bunch at the start. Oh, I've been I'm a three, heavy, sorry. I've been a three. Format. Yes. We take that, boys, we take that. I mean, well, it's been a, a month and a half, so Bryce has been to one every two weeks on average. It's not that bad. Yeah, I basically, recently I've kind of just been going go to one piece one week, Digim on the other, yeah. and just open it. Are you going on uh, Wednesday, mate? Um, I'll, I'll be in tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. That's Tuesday, well, I, mate. I have no sense of time. Um, tell you what, you I just tomorrow's like... Monday. Are you okay? Yes, tomorrow is Monday, of course. It's um, Wednesday, my dudes. No, I said yeah. I, I keep forgetting that today's Monday as well. Unless you're listening to this, in which case, who fucking knows what day is? I we're not we've got a schedule. This shit could yeah, go I'll, up tomorrow. I'll, I'll probably be in, I'll probably yeah, be in. are you going to play? I might build that yellow hybrid list. We'll see. Uh, if yes. you, Rice, if you play, I will come along to some locals on Wednesday. That would Unless be I pulled. can't. The LGR. Unsure. Um, are you, Bryce, are you wanting to play Venus Kudamon, mate? Oh, fuck no, mate. I'm not joking when I say it's actually decent. It's actually decent. Look, I, I played I played against you playing it. Mind you, I was playing too, but... Oh, that's um, true. But, yeah, no, the deck seems like if it gets going, it's really hard to stop. The problem is getting going against, like, a good deck. Well, all you got to do is get one Venus one on board and you win the game. Unless they've got a giant Chungus coming out of Raisin. I was, I was going to say, do that again, Shane Gray consistently. Now, here's the issue with it, though. The issue with it is uh, it insta loses to Belfamon instantly. There's nothing you can do unless they brick. Um, um, it insta lose to Belfamon? Because so, Belfamon okay. wipes his board constantly. Well, not even just that, but it's it's because um, Belfamon sleep mode is not affected by the Venus mode. That shouldn't oh, matter when you swap. Yeah, you swap that doesn't matter when it comes back. Yeah. Uh, when it comes, no, when that it goes down to rage mode. It's, it gains Venus's effects. This is true. I don't think I would have missed that. So there must be something I'm missing here. Maybe it's like I, I think make Venus and then he goes into sleep mode. You're shit. I don't know. But, uh, so is, oh, is no. rage mode effect isn't a when digital is it? Well, uh, is it not, or does it not just pull itself out under her? No, so it's end. It's an inheritable end of opponent's turn that it turns into rage mode, and then on its turn, it um, on its turn. Do you know what? what is it? Yeah, that's Am probably I... the problem. Then, There's is no the rage way mode I've just misplayed this. Or oh, do you know it what? It like probably you've been misplaying me. Maybe it's because it pops it. I mean, if he's got a, a Kurata on the board, they can kill your Venus one anyway when it turns to his turn. So it is a bit of a pain in the. Oh, do you I'm know what it is? Like, no, do you know what it is, boys? It's because it has no when attacking or when digivolving effects that matter apart from uh, when it goes into sleep mode. So you have to make a Venus one before they make a sleep mode. And as we discussed last week, they can make a sleep mode out of fucking nowhere quite simply. That do be true. They do be spitting that one out of two or three. Or whenever yeah. we last spoke. <laughs> Oh, uh, one day we will have a consistent schedule. But we will. I am... Um, working lives. Hard working work lives, although I am officially out of the Air Force uh, um, oh, next month. It's... Oh, okay. Uh, next month, but 
I have finished my last shift in the Air Force now. So I've got a month and a half off. I'm going to be fucking spamming card games. Amazing, um, and, I, and I'm pogged at Madame Gord. I've got an interview um, to be a firefighter at a nondescript airport on Wednesday. So I'm hoping that goes well. That's uh, class, man. And if I get that job, I'll be fucking absolutely squared away freshly. So, and it'll be easier to get for me some, to go uh, to card games and stuff. Can we get some comments in the comment section congratulating Cobb on his new job? That he will definitely get. I, I, I should believe. be a shoe in. I, I really should be a shoe in for it. It's like quite a specific thing, airport firefighting, to be uh, to have experience in. So it's not like every time. Wouldn't you know it? You've got go. that experience. I do. Five years of it. I have grinded. Indeed. So should be should be pretty good. Um, I've, one of my friends works here. He left the air force before me, and he said, um, "If you get to the interview, you're pretty much a shoe in." Unless Does you that can, mean that you can help me through security whenever I visit nondescript airport? No, I don't think so, mate. I think um, Honkin, why are you why are you even here, mate? I'm there if that air, that uh, aircraft crashes and goes into a burning pyre of flame. I'll be there. Right. Go in there, mate. How out. how often does that happen? Never. Good. Yeah. It's gonna say like you fly enough to know that doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, not mate. It's not never. There actually was an incident at this airport, like, a couple of months ago. But I don't actually know how severe it was. I don't think there was any fatalities or anything like that. But there was, like, a major um, <laughs> a major issue. But aye, that's enough about about real life. We're here to talk about fake life, the card game yes. life. Uh, it's not fake life. It's, well, it's life. becoming it's my real, real life. life more and more each day, to Adam, be fair. you fucking live and breathe card games, to be fair, man. Do you know the weird thing is? I don't even like them. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I just feel peer pressured into doing it at this point. Do, you keep asking just, me to go to judge meets. I know, I just started off judging Digimon. and Well, I started off judging Pokemon 10 years ago, but let's not talk about how old I am. Um, Bryce, I think you were still in primary school when that was, a, when that was happening. 10 years ago? Yeah, uh, just just entered high school. Maybe like first oh, or second I'm year. Not, I would have been, oh, uh, I'd right. have been 15 years old, Adam. I'd have been, oh, been in third year of high school, mate, so... Oh. Old man. Old! I'm old! old man. Pit, that picture of Lord Farquaad pointing, and it says old, is all it some, says. Some of you what may die, you on about? <laughs> but that's so a sacrifice I am willing to make. I love Lord Farquaad. Why does say. Shrek in the DVD cover look like he's reaching through to throttle you? I don't oh, did you hear the guy that said the, the, the fucking lead singer of Smash Mouth died today? He did. What? Fucks. I know, and do you know what? This is actually related to Digimon, so I'll take it. Because it is. <laughs> as... All Star is the theme song for Cherubi and Antilamon. Mate, yeah. it better be in the new one as a memorial to him. It better be. It better say at the end, R.I.P. in a black and white picture of him. Is that man yeah. could make some bangers. There's your timestamp, folks. Steve Harwell died today. That's there's your timestamp. Yeah. Um, Thanks for giving us a name. I quickly I want to speak about locals, right? Because I went to I went to Tokyo Toys in Glasgow, lovely wee local scene. Um, we had we had a decent wee turnout on Friday. I think it was about twelve of us in. Um, yeah. It was lovely to see a fantastic new guy, Alistair, joining us. I think that's his name. I'm terrible with names, remembering them. Um, but he's a really nice guy, and he's actually pretty good at the game as well. I would say he's like a he's a he's a really good player. Um, he was playing Black War great, and I was playing Alphamon. I'm trying to get. I've not had any hard sweat practice in Alphamon, right? I've maybe played about um, eight locals with it, which, in my opinion, no, it can't be eight. It must be about five or something, right? I've played about five locals with Alphamon. Um, so I, you know, I know what I'm doing with my deck. I still make misplays because there is a lot of min maxing you can do in this deck. Um, to try and maximise your skill and output, you know, but it's um, pretty going pretty well most of the time. I actually had my worst locals performance I've ever had with Alphamon on Friday night. Not with Alphamon, period. My worst locals performance, period. Did you come last? Uh, yes, I came last oh, out of 12 mate, people. what's going on? I, I lost, I think I took one game, um... I, it was actually just fucking painful, but to be honest, if I think about it, it's kind of like matchups really didn't help. Um, like my first game was against this new guy Alistair, right? It was really nice. 
uh, we're chatting away, he's just came, moved over here from South Africa, where it sounded like he had quite a small scene, there was no official representation for events over there, so his locals were just like, letting guys play for packs, basically, that they'd imported, um, and he said he was having to import his cards from some site in Europe, so it was all a bit of a nightmare for him, um, so I'm, I'm happy for him to be here, in a nice community, he's got, I told him he's got three locals he can go to, um, forgot to add them to the chat, my bad Alistair, we'll do that next week, but man was on Black War Greymon, and this is you the first Black him. War Greymon that I've fought uh, with Alphamon now if you think about it, it sounds like an absolutely fucking honking matchup, if you try and piece it out in your head like, what does Alphamon do, okay, it sets up cheap tamers on the board um, tries to get a massive amount of value going uh, off those tamers to generate uh, control of the board and try and OTK people or take massive swings at security. So, what does Blackboard Greymon do? And sure as hell, I've got like a Yuji and a Cool Boy on the board and I'm ready to pull the trigger next turn. And he goes, Blackboard Greymon, pop both of them. And I go, okay, I may as well scoop now. Um, the game just lasts, lasted quite a long time. Uh, I think I did out one of his Blackboard Greymon stacks, but it's like immune to deletion as well. So there's not really a way for me to out a Black War Greymon stack apart from attacking over it. And, you know, Gaiomon's got reboot. At any point, if he pulls a Gaiomon, he can kill my stack as well, which is a fucking nightmare. Oriukun's going to pop it once. I'm probably going to have to pop it like two or three times to kill it because of the amount of uh, deletion prevention it has. So it was absolutely honking. Uh, I lost both games. They were both actually pretty close. But I think it was more down to... Uh, Alistair kind of bricking or like running out of gas to use the, was the reason it was close because he kind of had me locked up in both of them uh, it just went longer than it should have because he was missing some pieces actually I think I took maybe one game off him right but then the second round I'm trying to remember what all my matchups were um, but I also thought oh no I remember exactly what I thought so my second round I was fighting Scott good guy he was playing Machine Dramon um, and Machine Dramon again against Alphamon as a Machine Dramon expert. You know, a good uh, 12 out of wee digitals with Machine Dramon. I uh, appeared on the Eggman video for 0.5 seconds. Maybe you've heard of me. Uh, I'm joking. But it literally has no chance against Machine Dramon. Because Machine Dramon totally destroys OTK decks. Machine Dramon can de evolve Alphamon. They've got no way around that. Uh, it can swing over the Alphamon stack. If they're not yeah, it, you or you can do it easily. The machine, Ramon? Not really, mate, because you've only got one way to do it. It's on the Alpha Mon. You can only de evolve it once. And see, since Chaos X came out, this was a thing I knew from the BT11 meta. Uh, literally, you have to de evolve Machine Drumon at least twice to be able to actually do anything. Because unless they're an ape, they're not going to leave just a Chaos Drumon or just a Machine Drumon on board. It's going to probably be a Machine Drumon with a Chaos Drumon over it. So you're going to have to do it twice to prevent any sort of, you know, removal um, prevention from being able to be live. So that was a fucking nightmare. I, I pretty much knew I was fucked from the moment I saw the, the, the deck I was fighting. And then the third deck was Blue Flare. Uh, and then one game I actually just bit my balls off. I thought Blue Flare might have been playable, but one game I, j I, th I can't remember if I bit my balls off in both games but you know Blue Flare is just very aggressive um, can kill you on like turn 3 or 4 quite consistently or just lock your fucking board up so Poo you've flare. got no chance to play I, I do hate it, I do call it Poo Flare uh, I despise the fucking deck so much it's just crazy yeah. man it's such a, a stun is the least fun mechanic in the game I like, agree yeah. It's but don't so worry. Cancel. It's about Actually, to get worse. Point. The least fun mechanic is Chaos Drummon X. With his um, just burn effect. I hate burn. But the burn, burn is like so irrelevant most of the time because you're never really going to... It's, it's, you can't kill it anyway. So you can, there's no real any... Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. No, no I've... <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle here. Burn is annoying, but it, I, I prefer burn to stun because... Mm. Stun just says fuck you. And it's going to get worse when Melga comes back into the format. I, we keep saying Melga's coming back into the format. Maybe if we ignore it, it's not going to happen. I know that's me fucking praying to a god that doesn't exist. The digital gods that keep slapping me in the face every time I start enjoying the game again. But like, 
they're going to start stunning you and memory locking you out of the game, which is super fun. Um, when BT uh, EX5 comes out. Yeah. So it's going to be honking. But it doesn't matter because in that set, I promise you right now, I will fucking play Aetamon if it kills me. I will fucking play Aetamon if it kills me. The worst thing about this shit, though, is it can just bounce my assholes to hand. Um, but not is bouncing really your assholes. It can bounce your what to hand? My it assholes, all my, wee, all my wee assholes on the board, the, my little, the little um, mouse asshole and the little fucking monkey assholes can all get bounced to hand. Uh, which, I, I mean, bounce to hand is one of the most annoying fucking removals in the game as well. I think it's worse than um, deletion or what, what DP reduction and shit like that. Mm. Half the games I pl- half the decks I play have like on deletion effects. I was gonna say for you it probably is. For anything I play, I'd rather they bounce at the hand because I play hybrids. Yeah, you just go again. Yeah, when are you gonna give up on hybrids, mate? The yeah, I'm rebuilding are... it. They, they, if they've just printed great generic yellow support in the next set that we're getting. Of right. course, I'm rebuilding it. Mate, Big Alistair was fucking talking about yellow hybrid. He said that's his favorite deck, and I said, "Oh wow, well, you Bryce will get on, man." Yes. I'm just playing Shine Greymon until I can't. It's like okay, so that'll be till the limit the Marcus is then. Probably, mate. Both of them. Mate, I've not played in so long. I'm just enjoying playing a deck that A, I vibe with, and B, I actually like the Digimon. Yeah, I always play decks that I like the Digimon of. I- I'd rather try and make a good deck out of a Digimon I like than play a Digimon I don't like because the deck's good, you know? Yeah. And, like, I can't play regionals. I can never play big level events anymore because I'm not going to travel to one in, in Europe for, like, four people to show up. And I can't play in any of the UK ones because I organise all of them. Yeah. So, like, I'm just enjoying what I, what I like playing at locals. That's if it's fun. too fucking horrific, then I'll switch off of it for a while. But then I'll just go back to it. Like, Ravemon's fun. fun. Ravemon's fun. And, and it's, it's garbage. Like, I don't think it's garbage. It's, like... It's like not fucking top tier, obviously, but it's I feel super, like it can hold its own. It's super niche, um, mm. but if you don't see the pieces, you're fucked, and you frequently do not see the pieces. Yeah. May I Any, yeah, That's all. yeah. That's it. This is what happens, though, Adam. See when they print a new archetype, and it's only got one searcher and one tamer. I mean, it's actually got two, right? But the way I feel like you need multiple waves of support in this game to succeed. Yeah. Well, with BT14 around the corner, say around the corner, it's two months off, but we're getting the training cards, finally. It's going to be basically, really good. Basically, memory boosts, but much better, because they don't get memory blocked. Yeah. You can't be memory blocked. The only thing that's better about memory boosts is if you're looking for a Digimon, you can dig more for it, but you can't memory yeah. block it. Um they're like one less cost and you can pick a tamer or an option card with it which is perfect. no they're two less cost they only cost two memory no, memory oh, no, but yeah. Yeah. what three mate yeah 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 they're three. here's something I'm talking straight um with with us getting more and more delay cards printed including the new machine room on one that got revealed a wee while back and the new my um, one one right when do you think we're gonna get cards that start to remove extras from the field of delays um yeah I don't, see I don't know if they will. I feel like it's the something same, they'll do. It but at like the same cool time, game. it's hiding. Like, the, the cards hide because they don't count as um, colours to play option cards. They don't count as anything else like that. They just sit and hide on the field until you're ready to use them. Yeah, but it's, it's one of those things, it's like, once there's enough of them, even it's Obi-Wan's very Bandai all delete the doesn't kill them. Gimmick is just getting rid of them and then slowly work that into the game. I, I think anything like this that could potentially be niche and powerful is bound to get a deck based around it at some point so that people go, oh, that deletes delay cards, that's new and interesting, we'll try that. Like the same way when cards that could delete tamers became a thing and people went, oh, yeah. Blackmore Greymon, Pog. Well, we might end up like getting that. delay cost, delay blockers at some point. Yeah, it's like another question is when are they going to print a card that can bomb the opponent's breeding area? I don't that's, think they will. That's a harder one to print because when you start killing the breeding area, you mess with the 
yeah, a yeah, massive the, floor mechanic. The breeding area think... is the ultimate sanctum of safety. There's lots um, of ways they could make it though, so that it's more balanced. Like they could put it on a level seven or even a level six. Maybe it could say something like it could be something you have to really work to, like to but to delete something that's a high DP. You really have to like build your stack properly or I, something like that. I could see them putting it on like an Omnimon, like a new version of all delete where it deletes all cards, including delay costs, and it deletes the breeding area. But both players get to hatch an egg, um, and the turn player that played it cannot take an egg, can't take a turn or something. It would need to be a, such a severe limitation that people just wouldn't play it. That's what something fucking, I can see. That should have been oh, sorry, my X program. Should have been, man. Like, resets, resets the server, basically. Aye. That doesn't sound too bad. Um, what do you call it? What I can see them doing is cards that force raising, like during your turn, force your opponent to raise. Yes, yeah, that one I feel like more I likely. I could see a, a level six green ace do that. I was literally going to say that Adam. That seems like a green thing because green's like meant to be attacking over things, and then you could also balance it by saying like, okay, well they have to then attack over it afterwards or delete it. So they're going to then have to suspend a Digimon or have a Digimon that can fucking attack unsuspended or something like that, you know? Yeah. It could be interesting. It could be interesting. Yes. Do we have any meta results to talk about? It's actually, so, for depending on when this goes up, it's not actually been that long since we last recorded. Shock Horror, I know, but we only recorded like two weeks ago. Um, so, what has there been... Obviously, we've got Eggman lot, events. Mate. So, I think there's been one ult cup in Oceania from the Digimon page. Um, there's got limited results out on it. Lat AM had a regionals um, on the 30th of last month. So Lat so AM. It's on about August. Um, where Shine Grey run won. Then second place was Shine Grey. Then third place was Shine Grey. Then uh, fourth place was Red Hybrid. Nice, fair play Red Hybrid. Nice. It's still very fast. Oh, that's kind of like the ultimate cup that happened in Oceania, where first place was Mirage Galgamon, and second place was Mirage Galgamon. But then third place was Mirage Galgamon, yeah. and but Shock Horror in fourth place was also Mirage Galgamon. I, I actually think this, this Latium Regionals has got it beat, Adam, because fifth place is also Shine Grey, and then sixth place is Shine Grey. But then, you know, 7th place is Blue Flare, you know, I hate it, but at least it's not Shine Grey. Um, and then 8th place is Shine Grey. Um, okay, good. What about ninth place? Well, ninth place is Hunters, of course, and then 10th is oh. Black War Grey, which is Oh, cool. starting to break the streak. What's next? Yeah, but then 11th is Shine Grey. Um, oh, right, okay. And then 12th is Shine Grey. Um, oh, but maybe there's something else well, in 13th? No, no, there is, mate. Well, 13th is Dorbitmon, because Dorbitmon always comes in clutch oh, in the finals, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Always um, comes in. We're not going to see any more Shine Grey after that, though, obviously. No, 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 but 14th was Shine Grey, I do have to say. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah. it, there is only two results left, to be fair, but 15th was also Shine Grey. Okay, cool, cool. What about 16th? Uh, we're getting another one in. 16th was actually Shine Grey, so... Oh, right, yes, of it, course. Quite a dominant streak from Shine Grey. That's um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 out of 16 decks were Shine Grey. Yes, now this was actually, was there was actually um, 60 players at this tournament, right, so it wasn't the biggest event, but it was a regional, so it is going to have the best Oceania that Lat AM has to offer. Um, it was 5 rounds, so it, again, not the biggest result. Even the 16th place, guys went 3-2. and two. When you hear 3-2, and two, normally that doesn't sound that great, really, does it, but uh, 60 no. ban regionals that gets you 16th uh, and secures you some juicy pricing but on this pie chart Shine Grey is close to taking up 75% of the results um, it is indeed I believe it's one result off of taking 75% so I mean not the biggest tournament but that's a bit fucking sickening <laughs> honestly that's a bit sickening yeah, but to be fair like this is just another deck doing big shit we had Melga do this for a while. Yeah. We had Gabubond do this for a while. Uh, what else have we had? Black War dominated for... Well, I don't think Black War dominated as much as Shine is, to be fair. Yeah. But, like, it's a lot. And don't get me wrong, it is a lot as someone that is piloting the deck currently. Um, but I'm honestly fine with it. At least it's not blue. The, the game just needs freedom from blue, in my opinion. I Just think it, the color. I'll, I'll be real, man. I actually think this is going to get hit. Like, I'm pretty certain this is going to get hit now because we've had the results from BT14 and it's the top deck in BT14 as well. 
Bandai actually despises when decks last more than one set as the top deck, I think. Um, and if nothing overthrows it, like, e- Bandai even doesn't seem to like it if a deck is, like, high tier for multiple sets. They seem to hit yeah, it. Like, but, it's crazy. But it's worth but bearing in mind that we are, this is the second ep- episode, or third episode of our BT13 um, run. BT13 is a long format from the end of July to the middle of November. Yeah. It is a long format. We are in it for the long haul and there's a lot more events upcoming. I've got a, I'm head judging an event um, next weekend for Raiding Trade. We've just had another one there and I, I don't actually know what won it um, and I can't unfortunately abuse my judge powers to find out because um, I don't have access to the channels at the moment but mm-hmm. Um, we're in it for a while, so expect to see more Shine Grey. If they do limit it, they're going to do it soon. They're not going to wait until BT14 starts. No, um, because I, I think... they want to see what the regionals will be like in November, I guess. Yeah, I would imagine that. It makes sense. Um, I actually think they're going to hit it part way into this set. Um, and my reasoning for that is that, like we're talking about, it's a long set. Um, so they're probably going to want to try and break it up a bit like they did in japan they broke up with the starter decks and the training cards and both of these like really changed the meta right but here we don't have that so i wouldn't be surprised if we're going to get some sort of um little shake up from our our little ban list whether it is little or not you know i can see it uh i mean don't get me wrong i would not like the deck that i'm playing to be limited um, I'd probably just go back, back to playing Ravemon, to be fair. But, um, I don't know. It looks... We'll only wait and see. I mean, we've got the starter decks that are coming out in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, no, we've got the starter decks. We've got uh, RB01, which comes out next week. Uh, or the pre-releases start for next week. I don't actually That's know if they're doing pre-releases for RB01 because it is a reprint set. But it, it comes out in a couple of weeks' time, and then we've got the new starter decks, which fully introduce the ace mecha- mechanic, although not really because the two ace cards are already out. But it introduces a couple of new good tamers and uh, support cards for the war grey decks and the purple Gabumon engine. And Machine Drummon. See, and Machine Drummon, which we will see a lot more Machine of. Machine Drummon out here hijacking uh, generic black cards since it released. Hmm. It them on being holding on to that. But like, um, yeah, so we've got RB1 coming out. So RB01 is the first reprint booster set. And I think this is it's called Resurgence Booster, if you're if you want to know its full Christian name. Ah. Um and it is a mix of some new ghost game cards and reprints from the first five sets. Mm-hmm. Which you know we covered this on the podcast a while ago, I think back in February time. Bandai originally, well, it was th- theoretically leaked that Bandai were going to release RB1 um, as just like box toppers with just the ghost game stuff because we already had all of the cards because somehow they failed to misunderstand what a reprint set was, even though Japan got it. And then there was a... Now, again, that's just theorised. It was leaked by publishers, not Bandai themselves. We don't actually know what they were going to do. It was probably the case that they weren't going to release it the same way that they did for us. But pretty much the community united in a way that I don't think we've seen before or since. And just said, please give us the reprint booster in its entirety. It is healthy for the game. New players need it. We just want what Japan is getting. And Bandai went, okay, yeah, fair enough. They apologised for any sort of issues and they immediately rectified it. Granted, it did set back uh, a delay for about four four months. It was meant to come out April-ish time as like these little packs. or sp- It was like a, meant to be like a special set or something. Yeah. Um, so, But we're getting it now in its entirety. We're, we'll talk a little bit about the, the new cards that are in it and then just point out some of the good cards that are being reprinted as well. Um, but what do we think about it? A, a reprint booster set for the game? Because as far as I'm aware, um, Dragon Ball doesn't really have one. It's had reprints of cards, obviously, like we have, but it's never had like a reprint booster set. Like exactly. 
did it? Did it? Okay. Uh, it had That's several. Fantastic. They were incredibly successful sets um, oh, for Dragon Ball Z standards. They're amazing. I stand corrected. Um, yeah, I think the first one was Mythic Booster, and then after that was like Dragon Brawl, which was reprints plus new cards, the same way that this one is. Dragon Brawl, amazing. Something like that. <laughs> well, then, that's good, because they've had reprint sets, so they know that it works. How do we feel about it for Digimon? Yeah, that's a bit late. Yeah. Not so much the reprints, the reprints are great, but the Serious Mon stuff came out in BT12 slash AX4 in Japan, and in this format, the new cards in it are just almost worthless. Uh, like, Sirius, Sirius struggled in EX4 before Shin. Well, so, basically, the Gammon stuff, if what I believe what Japan's doing, and again, it's only a guessing game based on information from the Japanese meta, but Gammon becomes, like, competitively viable. It's not the greatest deck, but up until now, it's not really been viable at all. But now, if you're a Gamma stan, you can play it and take it to a regionals, and you, you might have a chance of winning. I don't think you do because again, it had it had like the odd top in Japan, but that was before set thirteen. I don't, I don't, I don't think it ever topped in Japan in set thirteen. Mm, I think it did. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I, I seem to remember seeing that graph recently. Um, I actually put it in the Digimon uh, Glasgow Facebook chat, man, and uh, it had like. Really have one of those. It had like a, a number of how many tournaments had been won by each deck. Gamma One had like fucking eight or something like that, compared to like Shine Grey, I think had like thirty eight or forty eight or something. So it's like obviously it's not the greatest. Um, and that did include like locals topping decks and stuff like that or like smaller tournaments. But Yeah, so like the new stuff it chance. gets a new searcher, it gets a raid Battel Gamma Mon that plays a tamer, which is good. It gets another can of Weissmon, which treats it all Gamma Mons, etc. And it's also a Warper. And then it gets its high end Sirius Mon and um, Evil Sirius Mon, whatever the purple thing's called. I'm trying to find it. Arcturus Mon, Probably named somewhere. after stars in the, the night sky, which is quite cool. Not Sirius Black from Harry Potter. Okay. Um, love him too. It's Galus Gamma Mon, Regulus Mon. See, I. I like the Gammon stuff, but it is very much a go up the stack with no protection deck. It doesn't, it can't save itself from being bombed. Whereas I level think the it's got Proxima Mon, which is its level yeah. seven. Um, it's kind of hard to get into, and you know, it all all um, Proxima Mon is it's it's a good high end card in my opinion. It can yeah. play out some Gammons. That are level four or lower. Anytime someone's something is deleted once per turn, and you can slide a gamma mon under it at the end of your turn to delete something that is its DP is less than or equal to. It's fifteen k without buffs, so you're gonna kill anything once per turn. But again, it dies to any bomb that hits it with no protection. And I think Proxima Mon is a bit late for the spitting out gamma mons. Um, concept. I think the entire deck should focus on spitting out Gamma Mons, really. From as soon as you get into level five, it should spit out your level four Gamma Mon, um, or a level three Gamma Mon, and your level six should do the same thing. Because you've got all of these level fours that have different abilities. You've got Patel Gamma Mon with Raid. You've got one with Blitz. You've got one with I, I don't know all their names, but you've got one with Retaliation. You've got one with Piercing. You've got one with Blocker. All of the keywords are spread across all of the level 4 Gammon lines. Um, you've got Gillied Human, or Humon, which is a suspending um, guy, um, dude with a sniper rifle sort of deal. You've got Gullus Gammon, which is a deleter if you've not got the retaliation one. It should focus on spitting out Gammons, and then you get to digivolve into whatever level 4 you feel like from your hand or trash or whatever. Um, to give you what you need to have that situational advantage. But at the moment, it just goes up the stack, and then as soon as you get to the level 7, which is, again, hard to do, it then starts spitting out Gamma Mons, but then dies to a bomb. So, yeah. I mean, I I've got a couple of thoughts on that. You know they also gain the effects of all the Gamma Mons in the stack, right, Adam? It does, it does, yes. And, and you know you can also manipulate the stack to put any Gamma Mon cards you want into the stack? Indeed, yes. 
So you can get all the effects on one guy, I think it's the main idea of it. Yeah. But also the Proxima but, Mon only costs three. So once you hit the six, it's really easy to get into the seven. The seven's not like a massive cost really for what it is. Um and it, it's like even for three, would you pay three to delete a Digimon uh place an extra source into your card and also play a level four or lower gamma one? That seems like a good trade deal to me. But I get it dies to an instant bomb, which a lot of decks are running more copies of now. I don't, need I don't know about if I'm buying this bomb hype right now, man. Like people, no, no, I, I think people. people don't want many bomb. Nah, I think generally most decks run like one bomb, like one big eight drop option or something like that. There might be some exceptions to that rule, but I think most decks are focused on their end archetype cards at the minute, and then they sometimes run like maybe one or two big big option cards. It does die to a bomb, which. You know, if it does die, that's sad. At least you've probably got your value off from drawing cards and you've played an extra body to climb up again and you've you've tried to delete something else. But I, I keep hearing this thing, this narrative that, you know, it's like every deck needs to have protection. And I don't know if every deck does need to have some form of protection to like stand a chance um, at being good, you know. I I think I it don't does think at this point does. because all the good all the good decks have protection. Why wouldn't you just play Blind one them. of those? Bloomlord doesn't. Hunters has, I guess, soft Bloomlord protection because Bloomlord you can doesn't save. Need it though. Shine doesn't. I'd say Sirius actually does need the protection though because it's a single stack deck that spits out wee guys when it dies. But the it's wee guys a... when it dies don't really help it. No. Mm -hmm. Also, I um, give you an extra body to evolve on really. Also, I found that thing you were talking about, Callum, that you posted. That's BT14, where they have Sirius Mon Ace. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Serious One Ace is pretty good. Um, but, like... Yeah, but remember that um, all the Serious Mon Gamma Mon line, it's... Oh, slide a, slide a Gamma Mon underneath me. Serious but you're not, getting a, you're not getting a card draw if you do that, so you're losing cards in your hand, and then it dies. Well, you do draw a so card, because no... Gurimon, the new egg that they're going to run, says when you slip a guy under drawing. Aye, once per turn. Yeah. I don't, think so, you're, I don't know how much you're going to be slipping a ton. But I, I think it'll be okay. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's going to be super top in every event or anything. I don't think there's but actually think a, giga, a giga love I'm, for Gamma Mon here either. So there's not going to be a lot of people playing it probably. Yeah. Um, I'm just a bit annoyed that it's late. Is more so because it was... Yeah. It was tier... Arguably tier 2 in EX4. Whereas it's kind of like not really a... Top of no. the deck anymore. We'll see. I'm sure Shine Shine guy will get one top it. fifteen with it. Um, and that, yeah, we'll you know, see. That's all. That's all any deck can ask for is one top fifteen. Yeah, you've got uh, you've got methamphetamine mon from uh, for for blue. Oh, amphimon. Yeah, amphimon, the jelly mon line, which it it trashes sources and bounces things with no sources. It's fine. The, yeah, the, some of the Jellymon cards I think looked really good back in the day. Like, fucking, what's that option card? Cla Crackling Thunder or something like that? It's like a mm. four drop option, returns a four or lower to hand, and then if you've got a Jellymon, returns a tamer to hand. That's quite nasty. But even now, for four, I'm like, hmm, for four, maybe not. But, you know, Jellymon and uh, Angoramon, I think you got the short end of the stick a wee bit in this exchange. Um, they've not had as much, especially Angoramon, they've not had as much support either. So, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm I'm not really too hopeful for either of those two guys being good. Yeah. Um, in yellow, you've got some more Numimon, Monzimon, Shin Monzimon support. Some more Let's stuff go. for the, the Poo deck if you want to go up into... Uh, the Monzimon line instead of Etamon, or you could run it alongside Etamon. Um, Cobb, you're the poo guy. What is, what's your thoughts on this? I mean, me and Bryce are both pretty pogged for the Numimon Monzimon stuff, right? Right now, though, yep. it's another one of these classic cases where they release it's three cards in a deck, right? Three cards does not a deck make. Uh, so we're going to have to wait for the extra stuff to even have a semblance of playability for this deck. Uh, BT14, we do get a bunch of cool stuff for the Monzamon deck. 
Um, and then even in BT14, it's not exactly like it's going to be an incredible deck, but if it's even close to competitive, it'll be very fun. Uh, and the cards, like, you read the cards, you think, that sounds powerful. Like, you play a, you play a level 5, um, and then you slip cards under them, you gain memory back, you gain back 3, so I think you play the Monzamon, who's a blocker, for 4. Um, I, I think it's underestimated how much uh, value you get from just playing a cheap level 5 on the board. Uh, and he does have like some actually decent effects as well. You can minus security attack somebody and minus DP somebody. And I think that Shin Monzamon level 6 is actually a very powerful boss monster for a deck. Uh, we just need some more support around it. And when BT14 comes out, it might be actually semi-decent. Um, I'll have to test it myself, obviously, because I don't think it really did much in the Japanese BT14 meta. But... You know, Shin Monzumon, if you've not read it, guys, or read it quickly now, because it's quite cool. Uh, it's quite on theme for Shin Monzumon as well. He's a big, giant, evil teddy bear, but he does not hurt children. We love that. He helps the babies uh, and children. He's a friend to them and a foe to everybody else. Uh, so we've got a big 13k DP evil bear, Shin Monzumon. He costs 5 to evil into, but 4 from Monzumon or Numamon. Uh, that's a level 5. And when Digivolving, he places all level 3 Digimon face down at the top of the owner's security stack. So that's the theming there, he's protecting the younglings. Uh, you could actually use that to recover potentially, but it seems kind of niche. And then all of your opponent's level 4 or higher Digimon get minus 3k and a security attack, uh, security check to the end of their turn. So we've got a kind of soft Venusmon blanket there, which is really nice. And uh, the security at attack down actually matters a lot as well because Shin Monzumon's 13k is a big beefy boy you can give him blocker with the Numamon inheritables so he's going to basically be 16k they're going to need something at 16k to swing over him with this effect and he's been attacking is by trashing one card with Numamon and it's named from this Digimon sources place one of your opponent's Digimon face down at the bottom of the security st stack so that's basically like a chaos degrade on attack um, you can only get it once probably because you've only got one Numemon in the stack unless you get the king in there but that that seems powerful to me um, pretty decent like a small floodgate it's like a, a very light version of rune mode and also you get to out anything you like because there's not really much protection from that in the game right now cool but yeah yep. seems fun I love decks that yes. like I love these like Matroshka doll style decks where you know your guy dies, you spit out a guy, that guy searches, he puts a guy under, he then spits out another guy. How could this possibly go wrong unless they get bounced to hand? Um, but yeah, other than that, it's, it seems like a really fun gimmick. And I love Monzamon, I love that they're sticking to the theme of Numamon be like being inside, not uh, inside Monzamon's plush bear suit. Um, that's came from Digimon World 1, I think it's really fun. What are you talking about, mate? It's from Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's! Five Nights at Freddy's. That's where it's, where it's gonna be! Five Nights at Freddy's! Oh, you oh, hurt me. Yeah, I just said, like, me. your old dad there with the bloody mis misquoting the song. The epic, do, the epic do, Zuma do, song. Do, 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 do. Literally, that's... Shin Wonsamon could be a fucking Five Nights at Freddy's boss. Nah. Yeah. Boss? Um, then for yeah, if he's a boss monster. Uh, he's We've a never played a FNAF boss. game and it goes. Um, oh, I, yeah. I love it when you complete the levels in FNAF and you get to the next level, son. Are you at the final boss yet of FNAF? Are you yes. winning? Are you winning, son? I used to love FNAF, man. I what? Used to love yeah. that. I, oh, jeez. Back when it first came out, I fucking adored those games, man. And yes. then they put too many coming so. out. He's anyway, for the movie. For the, um, Wait, one last thing I need to say. Um, anyone in the comments, tell me what you think about Rune DLC if you played it. That's Rune all. D oh, wait, Sissel? I've not okay? played it yet. Or whatever it's called. I've not played it yet. Great. What is it I'm also not going to say it. I will, Rune, Rune, I will, I will watch Markiplier good. play it. Are we still talking about Rise and oh. Wind Booster? Yes. So here's Let me know if you played Rise and Wind Rune. Here's the... a question. Oh, you go first, Adam, because I've got a big no, Sega. No, I'm going to introduce the next card, so go for your question. I was going to say... What what do we actually think about the cards we've got that we're reprinting? Do we think these are cards that it's it's actually a bit annoying because, like we say, it's late to the party. 
I'm looking yeah. through these and I'm thinking a lot of these oh, yeah. don't really get played all that much anymore apart from a select not, few. Well, not anymore, but they used to. But we'll get say, to those anyway, so it's fine. When they were announced, they were. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so for green, you've got Die Arbitmon, which is, apart from looking like a PlayStation antagonist um, or protagonist, is fucking garbage. Um, yeah, cool. You evolve into a blocker. You do a worse effect than uh, Bloom Lord, which is suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And then if your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon, you gain one memory. Yippee, when Bloom Lord gets to gain like 17. And then I end of your turn, unfair. one of your Digimon with Angoramon in its text may attack uh, an opponent's Digimon, which doesn't doesn't even account himself it does. in that, by it the way. It does, because does it? he has, it, if it says in its text, it says, it, it basically means if it mentions Angoramon anywhere on the card. So him saying, one of your Digimon in play with Angoramon in its text oh, actually counts for it, which is kind of funny. fucking a honking, man. But anyway, yeah, like, it's so bad. It doesn't play out anything. Lamortmon, apart from looking like Big Chungus, he doesn't does. do anything. Like, it's so bad, man. Like, the, just not good. The only good thing I have to say about it is the alt art looks sick. But that's about it, mate. I love like green decks like this where the gimmick is trying to suspend things and attack over stuff for value, but they never give it a big enough payoff. Like here the big payoff is you go Lamortmon, you gain piercing. You go into Dire Rabbit mode, you've basically got a blitz swing over something, you trash one with the Lamortmon inheritable and then you pierce for one. So basically I don't know if there's there must be ways to gain DP. So yeah, one K here, one K here it's like a 14 maybe 15k swinger um, and right. it's like okay Joel I guess that's your payoff like, yeah like okay fair. Um, it's not as bad as the Espeam online for black black gets two whole cards this set for new stuff well <laughs> unless you count Numimon but it gets Espeam on which sucks um, and hover Espeam on Espeam which on also sucks <laughs> it does not. No, I'm not you know having you fucking. It's not. I don't care that it's a cyborg, mate. No, You're not playing no. it in Machine Drumon. No, you could. You could play it as the third rookie in Machine Drumon, right? Because I will stand by this that Hagurumon is garbage, right? Hagurumon sucks big chungus. The Hagurumon me. Hagurumon is honking, right? You're See, no, see the see opponent's turn gain two K DP in Machine Drumon. It's like. A very good effect, and it's probably the closest, the closest include for a level five inheritable in Machine Demon that you can't quite fit in. So right. this this fits in is the third rookie I think in Machine Demon. I think you got Dorumon, Agumon from the start, the new starter deck that's coming oh, out. Oh, wow. where's UXO man? He's you're huffing that copium again, man. Me, listen, Get out the shower. Fucking, 2k dp is powerful mate that's a lot of uh, dp out here no especially when not. your deck makes a big guy you can out possibly and then the only way to play the game is to swing over him bro you can't no. swing over him you'll be freaking 15k yeah. and then yeah yeah but no and then you've got hover sp mod which is an sr and sucks he should have costed four if he costed he four, it cost be, four it'd be pog crazy but yeah. it, i mean he does sometimes cost four but are you, are you gonna drop? Mm, no. Are you, I, I could cope on this. See when I read this months ago. No, you'll cope on time. anything. Stop it. I love to cope on cards, man. That's half the fun of it. You see a card and you go, mm. I always reference these cards that you read and you squint at it and it could look good. Like, what if they give you three memory, you play Hover Espeamon, give them two and then they can't out Hover Espeamon and then you pray they give you three again. Uh, but no, it's not good. The only reason it's bad, um, in my opinion, though, is because it's not immune or anything like that. It can just not be deleted, so you can still bounce it, you can still DP reduce it, you can still suspend it and attack over it. It's only 5k. Yeah. Um, it dies to every single deletion effect in the game that isn't red or big fist in black, I guess. Yeah. And then you've got the purple end of fucking Gammon, which uh, well, you've also got Black Gatomon undercover version. Don't know why he's in this set, but he's undercover, so we'll allow it. He, he also Let's looks go. like he actually looks like he's undercover to go get a burger or something. 
Um, or maybe he's like a Deliveroo driver and he's going to pick up a burger from Bergamon. I was going to say, he, I does, think he's he, he actually does look like a food delivery person. Yeah. And because, like, unless you know that that card is called Black Gattleman undercover version, you might Looks think like that Uber. they've just misspelled Uber. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe that is it, though. Maybe it's not undercover. Maybe it is just Uber. Black Gatomon Uber. Uber Uber driver. He U- does Uber, Uber driver. He's he, never been yeah. to Uber he's, driver. He's one of the hardest working people in the country, and he gets paid eight pound an hour. Like he's he's walking away from the chip shop guy as well, Boko Hakai or what's up. their name? Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Boko Hakai man. I just said I don't his know name. What fucking, bo- right, fucking Boko Hakai man. Right, Adam, guess this. Right, what do you think his name is? He, he's he cooks burgers, he's got a burger on his head, he's a little axle looking guy. What do you think he is? What's his name? Um, Pikachu. Bergamon. His name is Bergamon. Right, well, is that not Ebi Bergamon? Ebi was the pink one. Uh, is Ebi Bur- uh, uh, you're, you're the authority on the Bergamons, mate. Ebi Bergamon's the pink one, brother. I'm sorry to tell you, you failed the uh, judge test. No, it's not great. Um, but uh, he's cool. He's get, delivering food, I guess. Don't play him. Can we talk about how he, he disrupts opponents' trashes, though? He does. He puts a Digimon yeah. card from the trash to the bottom of their deck to All draw one. Is but he costs five. Detrimental. detrimental. <laughs> Mate, sex is so right. I'm playing this in man. Yeah, you'll put him in. You'll probably well play him in Fenrir. You actually could play him in Fenrir Lugamon, maybe. Depends could. how many... Depends how many... Um, that is good, a dark animal. Good level fours are in the game. There's mm. not that many you could fit this in. It's got a security effect as well. It's kind of nice. Yeah. And then, you, like, you've got the regular Arcturus Monline, which we've talked about. It's it's good in the deck, but again, no protection. And then, I mean, what else have we got? Can we oh, talk yeah, about how t- Heroes Da got a tamer? Yeah, Heroes Da Hokuto Amanokawa got a tamer. Start of your turn, if your opponent has three or more tamers in play, gain one memory, which is a fuck you to all of the blue flare... Um, cross heart hunters pish um, and then all turns if your opponent plays a Digimon tap the tamer and gain a memory if it's level 4 or draw one if it's level 3 again counters the uh, hunters deck counters cross heart I think Very this is quite strange a strange effect I think it's quite a cope worthy card though because it's only two it's a two cost tamer and being able to nick a memory off for somebody for playing a guy could come up, you know, that kind of cucks the plays. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any deck's going to play it. If, it. if we had sideboards, then definitely. Um, Here, here's a yeah. question, right? What about Blue Flare? They want the three memory to play fucking Metal Greymon. You just tap this and then you gain another memory. I Metal mean, Grey I think you should board. put it into the deck. I think you should do the testing for his cob. <laughs> I don't know what deck this fits into, though, is the issue. I think this is like a meta call card. Where it could know. be Paul crazy. You're the you're the you're the one that's playing at the self of bitty bottom tables, mate, so you can find <laughs> out. The most annoying <laughs> thing about this card to me though is that both of the effects are for different decks. Um I, do you know what? This is actually an anti this is an anti Digicross deck thing. All the Digicross decks play lots of tables. I and just they said Digimon. That. Oh sorry, I'm half asleep, bro. I said just yeah, deck yeah, counters, yeah. crossheart hunters, and uh, blue flare, yeah. and you're like, "Oh, what would it be like if you played this in your deck, though?" <laughs> it would probably be painful to be honest, because you're not finding a slot for Hikoto. But what if you put uh, multiple Hikotos on the board and you played Hikoto Tax Control? What if you played four Hikoto, four Digimon Emperor, four um, what's the fucking uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth Tamer called? Uh, Red haired guy. Al- Albi, what's his name? Takumi Aiba. Aiba. For Iba. him. It's White Tamer Central. Yeah, the White Tamers are really cool, I think, though. They're always, like, re- really Disruptive. strange disruption. Or effects. Cool Boy. Or they're Cool Boy. Or they are a Cool Boy, and they're very powerful. Yeah. And then you've got the Ghost Game Tamers that genuinely suck. <laughs> they don't do anything very well. I mean, they, they work with their archetypes, but again, their archetypes aren't the best. Apart from it's Danny. a shame because they've been the ghost games done now. We've yet to see what the next anime is going to be outside of Digimon Adventure Row Two movie, but they've still not made any decently good ghost game stuff apart from the Serious Mon stuff, which is okay. Yeah. Um, you've got Proxima Mon, 
uh, which we've spoken about, and if we jump to the very end of the set before we talk about what's being reprinted, they are also including the Sirius Mon, Amphimon, and Diarbitmon promos, uh, which have cool Kenji Watanabe art by the looks of it. I don't know because yes. they've not included it on the. Um... Oh, they've not put the artist on the Diarbitmon, but it looks like Kenji. Anyway, Sirius Mon. Um, it gets to slide another, another Gamamon in it and delete some things. I, I like this better than the other one, to be honest. The Amphimon's much better, and the Diarbitmon is also better, but still not as good as anything else Green has. And you've got the, the Tamers as well, but they're reprints. But yeah, uh, what do we think of the reprints then, guys? We're start, like, what have we got, starting off with? They are... Shall we just go through and list notable cards that we think are actually worth getting reprinted, right? Yes, yeah, so we've got, we'll start off with Magna Angemon uh, Recover 1, yep. classic security control card. It's been priced quite highly for a while. It got reprinted as a gold foil, which brought the regular arts down. This reprint will almost definitely just bring the price back down to a normal level. Which means we might see more fucking security control decks, but I'm not. But I guess that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm I was gonna say I'm gonna build deck control just to spite. Do not. Do yeah. not. Magna Angemon is currently sitting at a clean. Oh fuck off! It's just refresh the page. It's ten euros, uh, ten pounds, right? So there you go. You've got a ten pound SR that used to be like twenty quid plus. So it was thirty at one point. Yeah. So it's it's definitely gonna be even cheaper now. Um, yeah, it's it's You've nice. Got... It's probably the best reprint. There's also Upamon. Upamon was a good Upamon blue egg. Draw Upamon, yeah. The, yeah. the only issue with this them. though is Upamon has somehow somehow is probably the best blue or best generic egg in the game, and he has somehow been power crept. He has now been power crept with uh, Wanyamon, which yep. is crazy. Give Black a a good generic egg challenge impossible. Um, so it's, well, we're it's getting one. A bit late with the Upamon. ST fourteen's getting you one. Generic? What's he do? The Coromon. I don't know, mate. You're the Digimon card guy. The Coromon. Yeah, the Coromon. Oh, shit, mate. When I ta attack target, it's switched. Gain a K. Yeah, you you that's switch shame, targets mate. all the time as Machine Drummon. Yeah, that's pish, mate. Uh, gain a K is pish. pish. That's so specific. It should have been gain two K. Yeah, probably. <laughs> But then I feel like a lot of these reprints, right, they've actually just went, right, reprint the shittest, the shittest version of the Tamers cards that we've ever printed. So it's like, Tanamon Egg? Okay. Don't care, didn't ask. Agumon who searches for Hina from Hina's army? Shite, don't care, didn't ask. But this is, it's not, it's not printing cards that are meta-relevant now, it's printing cards that were meta-relevant back in the day. And that Agumon and that Patamon that searched for Tamers were all, were really good cards in the first couple of sets. But see the Palamon was also decent. See if it's trying to print cards that were good back in the day, I don't think it serves a purpose. If it's, it should be trying to print good cards that are competitive to try and make it a more enticing buy-in point for people that don't have collections. There wasn't a lot of competitive cards that were, weren't vanillas back then though, so they're reprinting some of the rares that were good. I mean, the three tamers they're reprinting is great. Ty, TK and Mimi are all high cost. They like they, Because they got reprinted, their cost again went down a wee bit, but they're still expensive. This should hopefully bring the cards back down um, and make them a bit easier to, to get. Some of these cards... Even Mimi is being slightly phased by, um, what is it, Yoshino? Yoshino, Yoshino yeah. yeah. And then there's another Mimi coming out that'll be good as well. That Mimi's okay. The TK's okay. The Ty's okay. Um, the TK's okay. The yeah. TK's the best tamer in the game. It's still sure it's the best man. tamer in the game. It's not the best, but it's a good reprint. What's the best, then? Marcus. That swings and evolves your guy for free. I was going to say, either yeah, of the Marcus. True. Marcus who punches is good. Um, but it used to it, it, TK it, was the best tamer in the game for a good ten sets at least. So it's, still a generic, it's good that it's getting reprinted. It's a generic good yellow tamer, right? The, all of these tamers they're printing, to be fair, are probably the best generic tamer for the color. Um, apart from maybe purple matte, I don't know if there's a better purple tamer that's generic. Not not yet, but there is one coming in the new starter decks. The new purple matte is good. Yeah, so they're reprinting um, all the generic tamers, which is good. 
Yeah. The rookies, I'll got... stand by this, they're all shite, and most of them have had reprints already, and they're not hard to get to begin with. But yeah, oh, yeah, I one for two black. Secret shite. rares. Uh, the reprinting the Metal Greymon and the Vidramon. The Vidramon sucks. It does suck. Metal Greymon is okay and Machine Dramon, but it used to be really good as well. It's got great artwork. Um, they're reprinting Sumimon because they're reprinting all of the um, the guy line, the Spider Man line. What's his name? Diaboromon. Jesus. Thankfully, um, they're reprinting. Love Diaboromon again, man. If they didn't they reprint are. promo Diaboromon, I'm so glad they're reprinting promo Diaboromon. It would have been over 000. for the Diaboromon enjoyers. Like you, you, you know what's happened? Everyone has went. Can you please print promo Diaboromon outside of that hard to get event pack? Yeah. And what's happened is that they've read that and then they've put a calendar reminder every set <laughs> to reprint I'll it, and then it. they've just never deleted it. So it's always getting a reprint. Uh, reprinting All Force. All Force is power crept. Card's good, but not as good anymore. Salomon's still good. Rise Greymon's not good anymore. Shine Greymon is good, but you probably still play the new stuff. One guy plays Shine Greymon. Yeah. One one copy in a more controlled version of the deck. The ga the purple stuff's actually probably some of the best in the set. Because uh, yeah. a lot of these purple cards still get played, like the Gabumon head up will draw two trash one, and yeah. the Demi Meramon draw one trash one gets played sometimes. Yeah. If there's not a better um, tribal option. Uh, Black War Secrets getting reprinted. Demi Vimon, Upamon. Upamon's still a really good yellow egg to get. Jamming, Jamming Vimon has had great. about 500 reprints now, though. Jamming Vimon. It has. Angel Vimon's still Shoot. fine. I guess. Terriermon's always good. Blossomon has been limited to one, but it's getting a hollow version, which is nice. Yep. Um, these booster packs should be interesting, actually, because all of the reprint cards are hollow, if not higher. Yes. Um, so, be interesting. Here, here's uh, another thing, uh, just to point out about the set. At least with Dragon Ball, all of the reprint boosters were actually more expensive than a normal booster. Right. Mm. So, do we know what the price point is of RB1? Yeah, it's still it's just the standard cost of a box, at like eighty five ninety at launch. Yeah, hey, thank you, Bandai, for once. So it's normal. Um, Humon memory blocker, great. Um, Craniumon getting a reprint is actually quite good. I'm surprised they didn't what? reprint any of it, like the Puppetmon or stuff, because that saw a lot of play back in the day. That Craniumon's cope that has always been cope as well that craniumon you were on the craniumon train when i first met you i was but it was cope big yeah. black blockers has never been everything there. he says cope so yeah uh you've got lady devimon draw two trash two it has been power crept but it is still a great purple card they're fucking reprinting lilithmon which i'm annoyed about but well that's I good though it. because lilithmon's an expensive SR, one. and it's still playable it? and it will always probably be playable yeah uh, is it ever been holo, reprinted? Is it ever been what price? Plan. Reprinted, Lilith. No. It got it reprinted only, in their one year anniversary version. pack, but that card's more expensive than the normal one, so... Yeah. Mm. We're getting Hollow Delicate Plan. Nice, I'm glad that card's never been banned. Um, and Hidden Potential is getting a Hollow, but it's got a much nicer alt art anyway. Um, Zhao Mon's getting a reprint, because it's all play once. Actual Joe. Uh, a Goonimon. Your trash game, Vito. Nice. Yeah. Very epic. A Goonimon and Lobomon hybrid power have, crept. have been power crept or better tamer, better hybrids. Rise Greymon, power crept as well. Nidhogg's a good card to put in. Yep. Yep. Labramon. Nidhogg kind of aged poorly because purple went to mill rather than discard, is the only thing. Nidhogg yeah, for purple. True. Yeah, not all for purple. Oh, were you talking about? Oh, no, no, it's the green one, the Digibust one. Oh, God, that's not a good reprint. That's an okay reprint. It's, it's yeah. still played a wee bit. It sometimes, oh. it used to, a couple, like last format or something, some people were running it in Bloom Lord as like a little thing. I was going to say, I feel like it's a cope tech that people cling to because they liked it way back. I don't think it ever, I don't think Nidhogg ever really was doing anything better. No, these days it's like kind of. Pay five to like wipe the suspended Digimon off the board is kind of uh... yeah. 
this Labramon three cost. This has got memories for me. Three cost two k rookie on play draw one trash one. Obviously now it's gash, but it was um. I used to play it in D Brigade back in the day to try and put Commander one in the trash because it was actually hard to do that at one point. Yeah, I I played that a wee bit as well. I'm a big Labramon fan. Yeah, and then was it survive? Put it over by making it one of the main characters. Yes. Mm. Is he Azumi, the worst fucking uh, memory setter to the ever grace this earth? Wow. Um, Second carry comes back. Second carry is a good one. Pollen spray, then, dog shit. They don't even print fucking digi burst cards anymore. Sus inclusion is pollen spray because it's never been played. Nah, it's ever. crap. It's digi burst support, and it's digi burst is like a dying breed. But for it game. wasn't even played during digi burst meta either. Nah. I don't know why they've reprinted it. Clearly, they went. We need a green option card. Let's put this one in. I don't know, it seems like they always struggle to make good... They, they need to really print a super power crept card that just says, like, suspend a Digimon. Like They have. Flower Cannon. No, they need to make a power crept Flower Cannon. Well, I saw power one class Flower Cannon. Yeah, with, like, a condition like you can or something. activate for zero. They, they need to make, like, a Flower Cannon that you can activate for zero if, you've get, if you meet a condition or activate for one or something like that, because... Yeah. Make these, it an extra effect on a Tamer. Like how Marcus minus and stuff. For yeah, reason. they should do that. Um, there is one. His name is Henry Wong, but uh, you know we don't talk about Terra One support till. Henry Wong's a good card. It could be. It could be if the surrounding cards yeah. were good. Suspending a guy on attack. Yeah, literally for getting that for free every turn's pretty powerful. All oh, right, that reminds me. I need that. Um, what yes, do you call it? Right. List. I'm back from the caravan, so I've got internet to send you the alliance list. Alright guys, we're back. Just had a wee issue with the recording, um, so we're going to pick up... Bryce, how could you do that? Bryce just... Yeah. Bryce ran from his house to mine. It took him one hour. Uh, he finally got here and he slammed end recording and I'm very angry about it. Thank fuck I noticed yeah. that, by the way, because I got up to go to the toilet and I came back and the fucking recording wasn't going. I um, see if you came back to me at 1am, by the way, guys, come back here. Oh, God. Do you know what? I'd have probably lied about it and said something like, at the end of it, guys... It got corrupted. It got corrupted, guys. Oh, no. Oh, the student special. I, I don't even know why it stopped recording, to be honest, but oh well. Uh, we we live and we move stop on. Stop recording next time. And, yeah, I'll try not to hit that. That would be that would be very detrimental to our mental health. Yes. Please. So right. we were talking about Reprint Booster. We're going to talk about the cards we already have talked about again, but not in the same level of detail because it's kind of late for us. We can't be asked. Yes. Yeah. So we're on Weedmon, Shademon. Why is it being reprinted? Not good card. Nah. Security guy that people used to cope on. Pish. Blitz Omni. Good card. Very good. Yep. Always good. Omnimon Smart. Good card. Sometimes good he comes can. back. He's pretty pog. Potentially pog. He's pog right now. Good in Belfamon. Belfamon. Even. Yes. yes. Sora and Joe. Awful tamer. Best tamer. Nah, ever. pog tamer. Very Suki, broken. Suki, bad time. What? What? <laughs> what was that? You said the feast the kid bad time. What? It's a kid bad time. I don't know. Um, Nokia, good tamer, kind of. Arse tamer. Arse tamer, power crap. Yeah. Ultimate flare, good option. Mid. Not anymore though. Yeah, good option. Mid. Very large, too expensive, very powerful though in security. Good stack, shite hand. Omnimon original ex ante body. Potentially yeah, very good in certain metas. Strong ish. Omnimon's work defeat the OG Death X Mon. Bad now. Could be very Ooh. good and come back. Maybe. Someone's yep. at my door. Greymon <laughs> starter deck security attack plus one played in whatever the fuck. Not Blue Flare. Used to be playing still... every Greymon deck. Shite now. I gonna say it's still a two of in every Greymon deck. Surely Exception. not. Exception. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's still a two of in Black War. But you got to play like. There's so many Greymons you got to play, and then the starter deck comes out, oh, Lord have mercy on me, I'm about to search Greymon on Digimon card. Don't I was going to say, the star. oh yeah, by the time RB1 comes out, yeah, probably not, probably not. Yes. Um, right. Kaiser Nail and Cock Breath, blue options, decent cards, uh, kind of. Breath. Kaiser Nail, some point, is going to come back, I'm telling you. 
Patamon, Egg, g gaining memory from DP. Not good anymore. Used to be best card in deck. Lis literally like just got egg. a full art. He literally just got a full art um, released in a promo pack for locals. Uh, and that card's £1, so pointless reprint. Holy flame. Why is it in here? Sometimes very good. Very powerful security. I good in OTK formats. Yes. Mega, nice. Mega Drummond, Cyborg, Machine Drummond card. Shite. It's been power crept out its god. There's about 50 op uh, options to get block on the level 5 now. Uh, the Gururumon and uh, almost banned where Gururumon promos. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> Fuck you, Gururumon. At Vidramon and original Thai Tamer. Would have been good about three months ago. 85th reprint of Diaboromon and Keramon. <laughs> Let's go, baby! Joel. Demi Devimon Trash 2 promo that's hard to get. One guy played this in Beelzemon. <laughs> Meta. Great. We love it. Uh, good Pulsemon promo that I'm raging that they reprinted because it took me forever to get those alt arts. Give us more Pulsemon cards. Agreed. Palmon with jamming. Doesn't it matter because Digiburst is defunct. If they ever yeah. remember Digiburst exists though, just be wary. Well, Memory boosts. Very nice right. artworks. Still played even after the training cards come out as well. The nine seven ninety hundred million seven thousand five hundred billion three printing of Aero Vidramon Zero and Alphorce Vidramon Zero. They're I need my hundred. They're going to end up being like the ET landfill, but with these cards in them. <laughs> oh, mate! Can you imagine? I can see it. And then the Ghost Game Tamers. Paul, good reason. Awesome. We've now caught back up to where we were. Sorry about the cut, folks. We, uh, it will happen again at some point, and it's your fault. I enjoyed that though. That was like word association. Yeah. It was. It was good. <laughs> like we should do that for the set reviews <laughs> when the set yeah, reviews 100%. come out. Everybody read a card and give an opinion on it, and if we conflict Wait with each other, we we'll yeah. move on. Yeah, that'd be funny. But yeah, so we're gonna move on to guess that Digimon with updated rules in a second. But just Are before sure? we do. We've got newly announced regionals prizing. So um, go onto the Digimon website, go onto the events, check out the events that are upcoming. Uh, we've got some Ultimate Cups and regionals that are uh, upcoming. Ultimate Cup is the same prizing format, but the November to December Ultimate Cup format has not been announced yet, so we'll see. But for the regional stuff that is from October to November, they have announced... Uh, the prizing and it's event pack 5 which has a lot of good alt arts in it I quite like it but they've announced the regionals participation kit which is the best they've done probably for the last year or so yeah really good playable cards that I'm really happy about you've got Shoutmon Cross 7 new Emperor Greymon BT12 Gallantmon Imperial Drummond Fighter Mode uh, from BT12 yep Shine Greymon the cards. Shane Greymon from BT12, War Greymon from BT12, and Seriousmon the promo from promo 14, the original Seriousmon promo, I believe. Yeah. Um, or 58. I can't see the the cards a bit too small. It's the the Serious great, one. Great participation pack, Digimon. Like genuinely, really well done. Super Finally, happy with it. It is all good cards that get played in the deck. They're all new cards as well. I think they probably bit their top lip while they were printing these and they went, oh, fuck it, man, we'll just print them anyway, I don't care. Yeah. But it's for, amazing, they're actual alt arts as well. For comparison, the participation set two was Starter Deck Metal Greymon, which sucks. Pale Dramon uh, from BT3, which sucks. Rise Greymon, the red-yellow one, what that plays a tamer for digibursting, which has been power crept. Aldemon, which is decent, yeah. Cano Icemon, decent. Omni Shoutmon, not played. And the War Growlmon is decent. So maybe half of them are slightly playable. These participation pack um, ones are all fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Yep. Can't wait to get my hands on them. And you might even be able to finally shift the champion on finalist stamp versions of these because it's actually Absolutely. Digimon people give a shit about. Um, um, it's just amazing that they're actually... Um, alt arts now because I think people are getting so fucking sick of these cropped versions of arts of cards with like in, like nice black backgrounds applied to them like it's so lazy we, yeah. everybody could make these in photoshop 
so it's finally good that they're actually making good unique cards. Artwork one, for... yeah, and then unique artwork and playable cards. You know, so it's fucking smashing. The dark days are over, guy. Back the to the dark originals days before. are over, uh, and they've announced the new judge pack as well. So. For any of you schmucks out there that like judging, hint, hint, I'm one of them. Uh, this pack is terrible playability wise. However, it is very thematic. It's all of the Agumon experts and the fake ones. It's all the Terriamon assistants. It's Bokomon, and then for some reason, Wizardmon and Baumon are also in there because they like studying, I guess. I was going to say, all it's like them... a theme of studying and like teaching yeah. and stuff, right? I, I like it. I like its thematic. I'm going to collect all of them. I mean, I've got fucking a million of them, uh, the, uh, all the judge packs anyway, because they went event events that I do. But I like them. I'm happy with that. I think, you know, it's been a really dry year for Digimon prizing wise. A lot of the support and stuff has went to One Piece and Battle Spirits. This, to me, feels like the first actual events that they care about for Digimon. Yep. And it's a good sign um, as well, because like we've said before, they're hoping that BT14 is going to breathe some more life into the game, big new mechanics, uh, you know, <laughs> Digimon lines that people are really excited to play. So that combo, if they're going to put in some effort into the prize, and again, that's really going to bring people back out to tournaments. Yeah, and you know I I'm organising the uh, UK's regionals for this, um, and I'm not going to share you know specific details about the event yet. But ticket sales are very good for it, um, and when the pricing got announced, we saw a massive spike in ticket sales as well. You people want good stuff. That's all we want. We want to play the card game that we love, and we want to get rewarded for it. That's literally it, and it's good to see that they're giving some more support back to Digimon again. Yeah, it's good. Makes yeah. me think if they finally got more of the budget allocation for the game back again, you know, like they release One Piece, they release Battle Spirits. We all know that they absolutely pumped Battle Spirits to the gunnels with that, what was it, million dollar prize pool? Million dollar prize pool? Or was it a hundred thousand dollars or whatever? No, it was million. Was a million and no. all. Like, they, they actually went crazy. I think that million dollar prize pool uh, nearly fucking took Digimon out back old yellow style but well uh, it seems like it's they're recovering now and things are bouncing back a bit and uh, I keep saying this but not a lot of people know this because I just think it's really interesting in Japan apparently BT14 and Ryzen Wind Booster were um, all designed by a new design team Digimon cards uh, the card games got a brand new like design team um, but it's at least a new head in charge of the game so there's a lot of new stuff coming out and personally, looking into the future, the new decks and cards that are coming out, I think they're really interesting. And they're going out of their way to give support to like less favoured archetypes and Digimon that haven't had them so much. So I'm really excited. I'm pumped. Yeah, I think as the game settles into its fourth year, Jesus, no, third year. Third year, yeah. Um, I th I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we're going to get some good stuff. But yeah, I think that will wrap it up for the chat session this week, guys. We're going to play some uh, Guess That Digimon card. Um, so we ha we are... <coughs> it's new and improved. Um, uh, what's the name of that? I can't remember. When you like so cool. gasp on a thumbnail on YouTube. Clickbait. Pog. Like clickbait. Pog. New and improved. Never been seen before game. Um, basically, we, for we forgot how many points everyone had and couldn't be arsed to figuring it out. <laughs> so we've started it again and we've revamped the rules to be a little bit better and, you know, more efficient. So we each get two goes um, and there is now a difficulty section. So you can pick easy, medium or hard. If you pick easy, you will be picking, for you will be trying to guess a tamer card and you can only get three points maximum from it. If you pick medium, you will be guessing a tamer or a Digimon, four points maximum. And if it is hard, it will be tamer, option or Digimon with five points maximum. So you start with X amount of points depending on the level. If you ask a lifeline, it is minus one point. So you get less lifelines for easy, but it's also a much smaller card pool, so you shouldn't have too many difficulties with it. Mm -hmm. um, an incorrect guess now also equals minus one point, so you don't just sit and spam guesses over and over again. 
Um, but your first one is free if you are playing on easy or medium. Uh, for lifelines, if you ask the traits of the card, we no, are no longer going to reveal the level. E.g. E Mega Champion, it'll just be the last two or three, whichever is on the, the card itself. Yes. You can also say there are no traits on the card, which is a valid answer. Um, and finally, because obviously last week I yeah, asked about Metal Guru Ramon Ace, um, which if I had said what set it was in, it would be very obvious. So the question asker now has a veto on any question asked, and it won't count towards the guesser's question asked. And everyone gets yeah. two goes, so you can only, you can only there, pick easy once. We forgot about something. Um, where This was something that I found when I was trying to find the scores in one of the older episodes. Is We talked about if you can describe the card, do you get the point? And in the older episode, we agreed that you'd get it with one less point. Are we happy yeah. with that? Yeah, if you can describe, and we are pretty certain that you've got the right Digimon and you know what card it is. If you don't know Bungless Bunglessmon, but you're describing his effect and what he looks like, then we'll give you it. With one less point? or yes, with one less point. Yeah. Okay. But if you're on one point, then you'll get a minimum of one point. Yes, I'll yeah, we'll, we'll be nice about it. And we're going to actually keep score this time, starting again from zero. I'm pretty sure I was like 30 points ahead of everyone, but we've aye, got no aye, way aye. of knowing for sure, so I guess we'll go back to zero. Wait. We have our dedicated fan base. Haha. <laughs> UXO, get on it. <laughs> the, the no, dedicated I'm not, we're not fan base of one man. <laughs> I was going to say, we're not going to torment UXO by UXO making him find is all the back audience. Listen, uh, you know, regionals champion UXO, friend of the pod, you know, uh, friend to many in the we community. Love UXO. Right, so um, I've already got a card picked. Alright. Uh, but you... uh, uh, depending on what level you pick, it's. This is the thing. I'm going to wait till somebody picks the level before I pick what I'm what I'm going for here. Here's the other thing. I'm assuming if it or so easy, medium, hard just decides the card pool. I can still pick a hard Digimon for medium, or do you want me to go for a more try le, or like a less medium, decade? Try and make card. it medium-ish if possible. Yeah. Because um, all right. I guess I'll go find a new card and wait for someone or wait I'll for someone to tell me. I, I wouldn't play. worry too much about it, right? Um, who's asking who first? Uh, well, we're all going to ask each other at some point anyway, so how about um, I'll ask you first, Callum. Roger. Right, I'm closing my dot dev window. Right, what difficulty would you like? Hit me with a... We'll start off with an easy to try the new format. Okay, okay. So fair I enough, fair. card. Coward, yep. <laughs> what the hell? Right. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I need to remember what sets of tamers in. Start of your turn, set your memory to three. <laughs> yeah, let's get this out of the way now. Unless that's the only effect on the card, you're not allowed to say the memory setting no. effect. We've always no. agreed you, you read the main effect on the card. You don't have to read the full effect, but you've got to read the, the main. Oh no, I'm effect. getting this no data pish that's coming up, man. It's kind of awkward. Don't they have sometimes it's hard to load? Oh, I fixed it. There we go. Okay. Uh, I ha oh, maybe not that one. Um, it's, it's a small card build. It should be a fairly easy. Right. No oh, fuck. Okay, no, we're going back to the first one. I just realised that one says a Digimon in his fucking name. Yeah, <laughs> no, so does that. Ah! That's the problem with no tribal like cards. They all allowed. name their Digimons. No tribal cards allowed, so therefore you have to pick a card. Well, you can from pick it. I was going to say. There. I was going to say you can you can pick a tribal tamer if you want. You're just going to give them a fairly easy question. Yeah, but it's meant to be easy, so that's fine. That's true. Yeah. I don't think we get tables oh. often either, so this is a, a nice change of pace. Alright, oh, here we go. Yeah, this is one of my old favourites. The um, card has to be out in English, that's the, the other yeah. thing. Yes. I, I'll, be, I'll be surprised if you don't get this, Callum, okay. for reasons we'll discuss. Um, your turn. Yeah. When one of your red Digimon attacks a player, you may suspend this tamer to give that Digimon 2000 DP for the turn. That is Sora Takanoichi. Yeah, okay. I, I, I thought I went fairly easy. But, uh, <laughs> you know why I knew you, or I thought you'd know that, yeah? Because of Liam. Ah, big Liam, we love him. Big Liam, he loves the birds, he loves Sora. He's going pog crazy because there's a new Sora revealed that's not utter dog shit. Oh, is there? Damn. Yes, it is um, actually quite powerful and it's an interesting effect as well. I will find it quickly for you and read it. Um, so it's a four drop tamer, it's a memory setter. 
And then all turns, when a Digimon card is returned from your trash to your hand by returning this Tamer to your hand, you can play a red Digimon card with avian, bird or beast, animal or sovereign, other than sea animal, um, and 13k DP or less from your hand without paying the cost. But Ooh, wow. for each of your opponent's security cards, you subtract 2k from it. So if they're uh. at 3, it's going to be a uh, 9k. Which is still quite good, because basically they're kind of they're kind of all in and on the idea of making this an aggro red deck, uh, so just chipping people away. All the new Beomon stuff gains benefits um, when your opponent is at low security. All right, guys, Cobb here. Just letting you know, we've had a wee issue with the recording. I'm not sure why this has happened. It's the second time it's happened in this specific recording. But anyway, I'm looking back at the footage and there is a large gap here, maybe 10 minutes or so. You've not missed too much. But anyway, just to explain what's happened here, we have restarted the Guess That Card segment on the show because uh, frankly we lost track of the points. We've also kind of remixed things so that it's a little bit more straightforward. There was some rulings issues in the last one. So essentially we've got Guess A Card. Uh, you get two shots each per episode, right? So you'll get six overall, two for each member. Uh, you get three options when we pick at the start. There's going to be an easier, medium, and hard option. Now the easier, the easier, the easy uh, has to be a specifically a tamer card. So that's for a max of three points. A medium card can be a tamer or a Digimon, and a hard can be anything. Now you start with you know the X amount of points depending on the level. Easy, you'll start at three. Medium four, hard five. Uh, then if you take a lifeline, that's going to give you minus one point. An incorrect guess also equals minus one point. But on easy and medium, you get a guess for free. So it's all pretty straightforward now, guys. A lifeline, there's one wee thing we've changed because it was a bit too broken. Um, if you ask for the traits, we no longer tell you the level, right? So if you ask what trait is in this Digimon or what, is, what are this Digimon's traits, uh, for let's pull up a card that's sitting on my table, Sunarismon, pr promo Sunarismon, you would say it is a virus a reptile. You would not read out that it is a rookie because that was basically like getting two lifelines for one, so it was far too broken. Uh, just like uh, Shin Greymon is right now in the meta. Yes, very topical, Callum, well done. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you enjoy guys, We've done. T you've missed two questions sadly, Bryce asked me, uh, I asked I asked Bryce for an easy one and I, I got Sora Taka no Ichi right away, you already know, thanks Liam, uh, so I got three points on that, and also Adam did get a correct guess on a card I can't remember that was also worth three points, so thank you for listening guys, I hope you're still listening and enjoy Guess That Card. Yes, I love three pointers, I used to play basketball in school. Really? Unsurprising. Oh, I was, I'm a fucking tall fucker, man. Of course I did. <laughs> Literally. You came Mate, out everyone and seems like, oh, get him up there. Indeed. Bryce, what difficulty would you like? I would like medium, sir. Medium. It ain't no way I'm throwing option cards in the mix. <laughs> medium rare? The option cards go crazy, man. I've caught you with some dirty option cards. I've told you, man. I don't remember option cards unless they're actually, like, either super niche good or, like, just good ones. Me like that. One of your Digimon gains security plus one. Me going, okay, so we've got Lightning Javelin, we've got um, <laughs> Inferno something. Atomic Inferno. Atomic Inferno. Wait, there's another one as well. There's another one that's Inferno, the same Atomic effect. Um, Flame Charge, we've got that. <laughs> I think the red uh, does the same. Alrighty, yeah. I have a uh, a card for you. That was quick. Are you ready? Uh, actually, I, since you've asked, I'm going to go make myself a steak dinner. Uh, what the hell? The no, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. Oh, are you joking, people? What? Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm uh, joking about uh, the uh, joke. Egg, 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 egg. You ready? Yeah. Alrighty, this is an all turns effect. When an opponent's Digimon becomes unsuspended in a main phase, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. Oh, I know this. Sorry, what? All turns, when an opponent's Digimon becomes unsuspended in a main phase, you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. And I've given you a free hint because it's got the word suspend this tamer in its text. This is a good, this is an interesting tamer, honestly. 
Mate, I was going to say, like, this is some fucking jank ass shit. <laughs> Let me just say uh, that. This is either a weird counter card that they printed that I've forgotten about, or it's some jank. I'm, I can't give any hints, but I can't wait to talk about this one. Oh, it sounds recent, because I feel like I'd remember it if it was really old. Plus, especially early on, restanding wasn't too common. During the main phase, how are you? So that implies that the deck it's based around is forcing restands. Potentially, that doesn't sound right. Um, I think there's all force redrum on. <laughs> I'm I know. Here. I've got a few. Is it the old clockmaker man? Since I've got a free guess, I might as well try. Uh. I will, we will accept old watch, old clock shop man, but it is not him. No. Old cock slop man. I was <laughs> gonna say because old slop clock man. I think that I think I know the like translation we got before the official translation. I don't know the actual card. He was name. called watch. He was, he was called, called old watchmaker and the fucking old, 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 old clock slop man. man. What? Stop saying cock slop man. <laughs> he was called. He was called old cock slop man. And then they made a watchmaker, which pissed me right. off because I thought Old Clock Shop Man was a funny name. Yeah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for a color. Uh, it is black. Black. What the? F this is a fucking niche one, brother. Can I can I hear the effect again? Yes. All turns when an opponent's Digimon becomes oh, unsuspended <laughs> in a main phase. You may suspend this tamer to gain one memory. What fucking black decks have there been, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> no black decks. Are you talking about black decks? Say that again, bro. <laughs> Say that again, bro. Can, you get, can everyone listening tell what time of night it is that we've gone fucking delusional? <laughs> right, Adam um, gets to half ten at night, he starts talking about Bopies constantly. <laughs> I didn't start it! <laughs> you started it with a cock slop! I'm chucking you under the bus, I'm no, chucking you right under. Honking behaviour. I'm, right. I'm gonna gaslight you, it was you Adam, you started it! God. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe this. What was, what, what the heck was, what was the black deck this set? Was there a black deck this set? I don't know. Was it not poo this set? It might have been poo this set. But you know it's not old cock slob man. Yeah. I... No! <laughs> right, okay, what's set, what's set number are we on currently? We're on 13. What was 12s? Fuck, what even was 12? Um. Was 12 ah. also? Oh. Um. Oh. Fuck, man. If, see, if this isn't a recent card, I'm going to be impressed, but. Define recent. Like, set 10 onwards. This feels like a jank. I, honestly, I feel like this is some jank that's meant to go with like the Omnimon stuff, but I can't. I don't want to guess that because it would have to be Thai, which is probably wrong. It's so hard to bite my tongue here. I keep wanting to say things that give you low Fucking, level. Hints. You just bite your tongue and talk, think about cock slot man, okay? I don't stop thinking about him because of how I know he did you don't. So dirty. Yeah, I remember when I was good at this game and you just went for the early sets and I got them, and now you just go for the, the newer sets and I'm like, fuck. How do you know? Nah, Maybe this is from set one. This is not an excuse, Bryce. This is not an excuse. Here. No, it's not an excuse. I'm just saying I'm shite at this game. Now. Um, fuck, man. Uh, can I ask for a description of the tamer? Yeah, it's a guy. That is not a description. <laughs> well, it's a man. There you go. That knocks it. It, is a, it is a man. Uh, I will tell you, it is not one of the digi destined. Oh my god, is this like the, is this the one that came out roughly like around the same time as the Oh, it's the scientist guy that go No, he's not black, is he? No, the it's the lady that's black for that one. Scientist guy was oh, oh wait, was he also black? Fucking man, I don't even know his name. Mm. Have you not read and watched all the source material, Bryce? What the hell? I 
name it. I've actually got an, an encyclopedic knowledge of it in my head. I just don't it's remember so any of it. Naughty. Encyclopedic, not psychyclopedic. No. I, I don't think this actually <laughs> helps you, right? But even the thing that this guy is from, he's not even a major player in it. I feel like it's the weird, like, we got a, we got a set of two tamers, and one of them interacts with Tapirmon, and the other one is a guy in a lab coat, and that's all I can think of. Is it that guy in the lab coat? I'll give you it is that guy in the right. lab coat. guy in lab that, coat. That, that, is, is, that is for one point, because I didn't get his name right. Daigo Nishijima. I actually knew this frame one as well, because remember they released Bihumon in uh. set nine, Bryce? <laughs> And the idea was, oh, you go into Bihumon oh, and you give it... Blue I count. immediately started thinking of Bihumon, and then he said, suspend this tamer, and I was like, what? Yeah, like, you can ask if the card does have another effect, it did have another effect. What was the other effect? Because if it was more relevant, I'm going to slap your when ass. one of your Digimon digivolves into a black level 6 Digimon, it gains blocker until the end of your opponent's turn. Okay, you, yeah, I'd say you went for the more main effect. So. Definitely, yeah. Um, ironically, so I probably would have had a better idea off the other effect, but that's more so because I would have been thinking about him on. There's so many... It actually pisses me off. There's so many cards like this that will never see played simply because they cost too much. Like if this was two, you could cope on it and go. Mm, maybe we play this. This could be. This could be good tech. But you're never gonna play a card for know, three just like, to tax somebody. Fucking, one. They print this random ass shit black tamer that's got a three cost that no one's ever gonna play. But they give Cool Boy a two cost. I know. It's so weird their logic. The, cool Boy's like definitely a better card in its full effect, and they're like, ah, you're two, mate. Like, they really didn't want to push Bihumon, they thought Bihumon could have went too crazy. Indeed. Yeah, uh, right, oh. Callum. Yes. I want to ask you for your difficulty. My difficulty? Uh, hit me with a hard. Oh, oh you hard. want me to hit you with a hard one? Hit me with a hard one. Uh, after talking about old cockslop, man, you want to hit you with a hard one? Alright. Absolutely. Cock -slop -slop. I can take it. Well, I'm sure you can. Uh. Um. Okay. FYI, while I try and find a card, the scores are 3-3-1. Three, three, and uh, <laughs> definitely nice. it's three to the three to Adam and Bob, one to me because Did you I'm, just forget Callum's name? Uh no, I'm actually struggling to speak coherent sentences. That's that right. is understandable. Right. Man wants a hard one, we'll give him a hard one. If I can actually, you know, have the cards load. Come on, Dick dot or Digi dot Dev. Come on, Dick Dog, Dick Dog. I was gonna say, hell, I said Dick. Have a monkey on the cock on the brain, man. You do, don't you? Can we just put on the title of this like the cock cast or something like that? <laughs> right. Monsieur Alien. Yes. Main. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. That Digimon does not unsuspend until your or does not unsuspend during your opponent's next unsuspend phase. Okay, so this is a fucking green option card, guaranteed. God, I can't. I don't know this immediately. Like it's, it sounds really good. So it's going to be like three cost or higher. I guess I'm trying to actually think like what. What Digimon it could be? I mean, it's like an insect or a plant. So it's it's basically is it does it suspend as well or is it just they don't unsuspend? Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. That Digimon does not unsuspend during their next unsuspend phase. I fucking don't know this card, man. It sounds powerful, but I'm gonna guess it's it's a shit card and it's too expensive or something. Um, so I know it's an option card. Will you tell me the Digimon on the card, or is that um, too much? Um, you can't um, veto the question. Remember? Yeah, if you think it's too much, I was gonna say I'm tempted. Um, I'm tempted to say no. To be honest, because if you say yes, 
and then I'm like, oh, it's this guy's attack because I probably won't know the name unless it's like because that's that's what I'm thinking is like I doubt you're probably gonna get the name. Right. Okay. Oh, I don't want to tell you the Digimon on it for that reason. He picked hard. You could just say yes and then move on. Uh, nah, because that makes it easy. Well, I tell you what, I'll just ask. Oh, can this... you can you tell me the Digimon's name? Yes, I can tell you. No, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Can you no. jip me with a fucking question like that, brother? Come on. Bro, really hitting him with the fucking monkey's paw shit. Right, like, hold on. Oh, you get you get to ask three questions of this genie. First okay. question: like Are there any ask, limits? Yes. Ask Samuel. What's that name? Akinator. 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 I'm not cheating with Dot Dev. I've got Akinator up on my phone, and I'm asking him questions. Of, questions to see if he gets the card. Um, like, right, what sets it from? BT Seven. Uh, oh. I will get you the actual name of BT Seven in a second. No, that's fine, mate. BT Seven. No, no. It's got Greymon on the front, and he's ripping the cover off or something. I think. I think that's BT Eight. Oh, I know what this card is. Yeah, no, you were actually correct. It's um, there's Metal Grey on the front. Also, um, the the pack picture and on card dev is in Japanese, so I can't tell you. The oh, name. mate, this card's fucking easy. Easy, shut up. It's not easy. It's hard. Easy, it's easy, easy lemon squeezy, man. Right. What do you call it? Um, I mean, I'm gonna guess you just looked it up then, right? Adam Me. typing in. The Adam, yeah, and Adam. Going, easy. <laughs> easy. There's no way, man. Right. So it's a green option card. It's from set 7. What did set 7 have? It had, it had green hybrid. We know this. There was. What else did green have? A green hybrid, and then it had the gacha shit, I think, right? I think, other than that, I can't actually remember any of the fucking green Digimon in it. Uh, what else can I even fucking ask, man? The cost wouldn't help me. I guess this is why it's hard, day. Eh? The cost wouldn't help me. I can't ask the Digimon on the card. Oh. That what am I going to do? No, I probably shouldn't, because that's going to give away immediately, though. Shit. It's, uh, I picked you a hard one. You asked for hard, I gave you hard. The good news is, you st- oh. you technically have four guesses because you've not made a guess yet. And then you have three more points to lose when you guess. So you technically have four guesses. I'm at, I'm at four points, right? Um, can I ask... Don't tell me the Digimon in it, but can I ask what roughly does the Digimon look like? Um... The Digimon, uh, th- this is the best I can compromise on you. The Digimon is a level six. Yeah. With a big tree on its back. Oh, right. Okay, that's that's easy then. It's big. Um, a Bonmumon's option card. Sorry, what? <laughs> e- Bonmumon, the big e- turtle with the tail e- on his back. Eben Wu. E- Bonmumon, I always called them. I thought it was e- Eben Wu. That sounds more. I, that sounds more apt because they've all got Chinese names, right? Yeah. Japanese. So no, as your as your as your answer, Eben Wumon's. Yeah, it says it says option card, and it's a picture of him screaming. Yeah, hundred percent. So you use an extra lifeline, which figured out three, and then you didn't get the name of the card, which is Mugen. Bastard! I couldn't have Mate, told you that for the life if of me. You yeah. had attended any store championships you would know because that's one of the fucking prize cards is it i oh the new ones right okay i was like there's no way they were getting that out as prizing back in the day i no, actually made a pre-release for bt7 yeah. that was the first pre-release i attended so callum your final score tonight is five i'll take that hard is maybe not, not worth it boys i'm just telling you i mean hard is like asking for an option card is the other thing yeah yeah I don't know. I'm tempted with the. Mm, well, we'll, th- we'll talk about the op- or the option cards and hearts uh, for next time. I think still because yes. I doubt anyone's ever really going to get the name of an option unless it's a super obvious one. Indeedy, indeedy. So I am asking Adam next, right? 
Uh, no, you uh, asked me one. Oh, did I? I thought I asked Bryce. Right, Bryce, I'll, I'll pull you one up. What, what you did, want. did you not ask me? I thought I asked No, Adam, oh, no, I asked Adam yeah, because Adam picked Ninja Mon. Yeah. Right, so I'll ask you then, Bryce. Oh, well, Bryce no, Bryce is well, asking me. Bryce is asking no. me. Did I... I'll ask you, right. Wait, did I ask the wrong person? You've asked Callum twice. Oh, oh well, well, we'll... Da. Did I? Oh, well, we'll just go We'll go around the I same rotation then. Cause... We'll do it twice. Yeah, it's fine. I was going to say, none of us picked up on it at the time, so we all clearly, we're all clearly fucking too tired, I remember. <laughs> it's too hot, man. It's 20 degrees in it Scotland. Is. My computer literally says record high temperature on it right now. It's 20 degrees, and it's like, pad. it's almost 11 at night. Tomorrow's temperature is to tie the... And I need to go eat. September I need to eat after us, man. I'm going to bed, mate. I've got work in the morning. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely, right. Let's get through this quickly, then. So, I'll ask Adam again, then. Yeah. Okay, Adam, do you want to easy me to my heart? I'm just going to stick with easy, because my brain's starting to turn off. Okay, easy. That makes it nice and easy for you. Right. I will find you a nice tamer. Please. Mm, is that too easy? I mean, it fucking is easy, right? It is easy, to be fair. Okay, um, I'll go with I'll go with what? Oh, hold on, no, I'm going with this. I was gonna say like you need. It's easy, but it's not meant to be free. I don't I don't mind it if it's a more difficult tamer. Yeah, the the one I went with originally is either gonna be you don't know it or you know it instantly, basically. So I'm going to go with this one, right, which is a bit more out there. Okay, so this effect is... What's the more prominent effect? Spoilers, it's good too. Like, all tamers do good ones anyway. Um, I'll say this is the more important, right? Uh, so it's got on play, you may play a level 3 Digimon from one of your blue Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. That's Homer, you Fuck you, it's Homer. <laughs> how'd, you really get, went for... how'd you get Homer frame one? I know he's new, but fucking hell. Uh, because it's I genuinely looked at the it. card earlier on as a, as maybe what to get uh, someone else. I thought Bro it was going to get Homer. I do shit with it. I'm, at, I'm, I'm raging. Because, nah, I didn't even try that shit, Bryce, because I, I read it and I went, this is fucking garbage. Jumbo Gamimon. I, I love Gamimon, right? But Jumbo Gamimon's the only card that I can even cope on in that set of cards. The rest of them are like fucking vanilla blockers. Well, uh, and Adam has secured himself a lead with six for the night because there ain't no way I'm trying to get hard. Right, shoot for <laughs> the stars in your. I realised what I said. I realised what I said. Um, Old clock slop man, what? Yeah, what? Yeah. Do, what difficulty what would you mean? like? Oh, you know what? I believe in you, Callum. I believe in the you that believes in me. Did I'm going for rock hard. You're going for rock hard. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's he could see. also not pick an option going hard and just pick a really obscure Digimon, but. The options that, are either that, free or impossible. Yeah. I actually think the Digimon are the hardest, to be honest. I think Digimon are the hardest if you f p find ones with fairly simple effects. You, well, you're never going to pick one that's got like a tribe on it, so it's fucking always going to be one that's quite Ah, but what if, you, what if you state someone out by picking a tribe? Oh, you could. Just one that's one that's obviously tribal, but because it's not got the the word in its effect, people will think, "Oh, well, it won't be the tribal one." Yeah, I'm true. sure there's honestly oh, just being competitive to attack one. Right, I've got a go card for, for you. I'm going to give you the chance, Bryce, to claw something back from your one yeah. point. Are you ready? I'm not getting any points this round. So, when did you evolving? Return one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of their deck. Ah, oh, that sounds strong. That does sound strong. Too I bad it probably. Idea what it is. I was going to say, too bad it probably costs too much to be usable. Yeah, the fact that it's not specifying a level's kind of nuts. Is it Mirage Galgamon? It is not Mirage Galgamon. Worth a try. Is it to the um, bottom of the deck? 
to the bottom of the deck. Oh, I think I know what this is. Hold on. I think I might know what it is, but I don't remember what... I did think it was Mirage as well, by the way, Bryce, FYI. I, so, I have two in mind, because um, I have a funny feeling it's part of the weird, like, Alter or the Omnimon Fusion deck. But I don't remember which Omnimon was the one that had a bottom deck effect, and I don't even remember if it was on Digivolve or when it was attacking a bottom deck something. Or if it was an inherit that did it. I just remembered that it had something that bottoms stuff. Mm, I think I'm lost. I've looked at all the things I thought it might be and it isn't any of Oh, I should ask for a light, light, light flame before I guess again, but I really want to not do it. You know what, let's go with it. What set are we going for? Uh, this is where I have been nice to you. This is from BT2. Fuck. BT2! That's cracked, mate. I think should have been a staple all the way up to current day. The fuck is this, man? Also, what one's BT2? BT2 oh, yeah, BT no. BT2 doesn't exist here, mate. I'd rather know, like, 1.5 or 1. Uh, it is from set... I'm just trying to find it. 1.0. Uh, 1.0. 1.0. Set 1 for us. 1.0. That's even more confusing. Oh my goodness. So it, it's... I think it's fairly obvious it's blue. Or... Yeah, yeah, surely. Or a level 7. Oh, mm -hmm. I know what it is. Is it, uh, is it Millennium on? It is indeed Millennium on. Yeah, we got four pounds. Woo! Millennium Mon went fucking pog crazy back in the day, man. I actually thought it was a secret as well for the longest time. Oh, the the second that like you said set two, I was like, okay, this there's no way it's a level six. There's absolutely no chance. I'm glad I didn't get make my stupid Omni One guess because one of the cards bottom decks in that, but I think it might actually be the inherited of the like Garuru level six crest Garuru or whatever. Yeah, I know, I know your thought process there, but nowadays all the cards have fucking level restrictions on them. I think even Mirage has level restrictions, even the boss mode, and it's to hand as well. But, um, what was I going to say? Millennium Mon has Indomitable. What do you mean? Yeah, it basically does. You know the new keyword coming out, Bryce, in EX4? No, of course not. Well, it's Indomitable. When this Digimon is deleted, you can play it again without any Digivolution sources, if it had Digivolution sources when it died. Oh, wow. That's a, so, yeah, that is Millennium Mon's effect. I wonder if Millennium, Fo uh, Millennium Mon is... Uh, I was just thinking, like, Millennium Mon plus X uh, Antibody could have been funny. Just every time it comes back, just stick X Antibody under it. Could have been, yeah, and you could put Protoform on under it as well when this Digimon would leave the battle area, other than by effect. You can return yeah. the card to the hand and place X for anybody into the stack. Sounds crazy. like fun. Paul crazy. Well, that's us in the guys, isn't it? Yeah, oh, thank you. We're doing a podcast. Yeah, we are. Yeah, did you forget? Did you just think we were chatting with the gang? Please, yeah. Names? Podcast listeners, um, for our future sanity, I'm going to say now I've pinned the final scores, which are Adam six and then me and Callum at five, so that if we ever forget, scream at us in the comments if you remember. Yes. Yeah. So Adam six, Bryce five, me five. Am I ready to go next time? Yep. All right, yes. guys. Fantastic stuff. Any closing remarks before we wrap up here tonight? No, I am all good. Looking forward to the next pod where we will be discussing something, probably. It's probably going to be yeah. around the time of the SECCCCCCC. Yeah, stuff, we'll right? talk so, about yeah. how the SEC events are going. If you're if if the pod comes out before then, come to the SEC, come meet us, come play with us, all that sort of good stuff. I'll tell yes. you something yep. as well. I'm tempted to take Etam on in the SECCCCC. Oh, you could do that. Could go Pog. Or I could, or I might go fucking full try hard mode and play Bell for one, because I got that. Mate, are you not on the? Are you not on the beard that is white? No, that's on the uh, Sunday when I'm doing the duo, the trios, the body. Beard Saturday, it's Saturday and Sunday. Oh, then it's Digimon that's on Sunday then. Ah, right, okay. One of them. I'm right on that. Yeah. The other ones on the other day. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly confident trios is Saturday. I assume that yeah, the trios is Sunday. Saturday. 
Because in my head, I'm like, that's the side event and the main event. No, Chaos is the main event. Peace. Really? No, there was originally going to be a top cut and then they changed that. That's fucking wilding, man. Yeah, it do indeed be like that, yes. That's like how Digimon fucking made Alt Cup, Alt Cup the, the premier event, even though it's a side event thing. Funny. Yep. Right, gang. Yep. Well, thank you very much for listening. If you are in the UK or the Glasgow area or you fancy doing a wee commute, come through to Glasgow for this tournament we've got coming up. Adam, what are the details on it? Uh, it's a cool TCG Expo. You can find out more information at www.tcgexpouk.com or search up Organised Play Events or TCG Expo on Facebook. Um, we're running events for every single possible card game that I can get an event for. So we've got stuff for Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, Magic the Gathering. We've got some Vanguard, Flesh and Blood. Um, a bunch Lorcana. of official, Lorcana. a bunch of Lorcana, yes, we've got a bunch of official events and a bunch of custom ones as well, and it's all supported by the wonderful uh, game stores located throughout Scotland and some in England as well, um, to bring you the ultimate TCG experience. Come along, and here's a special sneak preview. No. We might have one coming up at the end of the year as well. No, who knows. I hope these go well, man. If, if these go well, it would be awesome to have these be a kind of semi-frequent thing. It'll be pod crazy. Yeah, I um, can't believe I'm running Vanguard. Hey, hey, we've got to cater to some people, I suppose. We've got to <laughs> cater to some of the lower brow men in the audience. Yeah, but if this goes... So we're not expecting it to do incredible. We're not talking about Pokemon Worlds here. We just want it to do well. And if we and if it will do well, then I can try to do make it an annual occurrence so we get actual events back in Scotland again. Um, and it gives all of you wonderful listeners, uh, especially UXO, a chance to come and visit us so we don't actually have to travel for once because we do it all the time. That You can at least repay the favour. Yes, <laughs> come. And when you're here, come and visit Scotland. Well, a club doesn't mean you have to join a club or whatever the fuck that advert said back in the day. What? what? I have no idea what no, you're on, mate. Genuinely, do you not remember the Visit Scotland adverts? I feel like I might be a, too was, young for uh, this book. Maybe I'm not they, sure. they were out in like. I know, I remember them. I know what you're talking Visit about. Visit Scotland, where you they were out stay when? in the islands. Like 2013. Like literally, 2013. there was a massive marketing campaign. I think they put th- uh, millions of pounds into a Scottish tourism board to come up with a slogan for Scotland, and it, it ended up being. Visit Scotland was the was the logo the the the, the motto they came up with. So I oh, guess so uh, Google visit Scotland adverts. Uh, no, I, I it'll, trust me, I trust nah, it'll fill you guys at home with uh, joy and need to come to Scotland. Um, and you don't need to just walk about the Highlands. You can play card games now, so it's pretty epic. Visit right, Scotland. Yeah, I actually want to cut it there, to be honest. Visit Uh, Scotland. I would would as well, to be fair. Yeah, just cut it there. Visit Scotland.